Okay, we are back here on Twitch, the streaming platform where nothing can possibly go wrong. That's the first thing that's ever gone wrong. Yep, so I've got a new stream key. I've reset my password. Someone has downloaded this entire website, a thing I didn't even know was possible. So, all that stuff got changed, and now we are back to try to win this fucking last fight of the Leilana Song DLC against a dragon, and I still have no better ideas what kind of strategy I'm going to use than I did the last ten times that I blew this. So let's just think about it for a second before we rush in. Let's see what we have. Leilana, who I'm going to be controlling most of the time, so... Yeah, I tried... I fooled around with using her as an archer, but she's... Um... You know, she's really specced out to be... In melee, she's got all the good melee skills. And maybe I'll go back to it if I die a few more times, but for now, I think this is what makes sense. See, here's what I think happened. I leveled these people up as if I was going to be playing this game forever. Like, I took a lot of passive abilities. These over here. Passive. Passive. That would be good over time if you're fighting big fights with lots of enemies and it just adds a little bit to each fight that you do. What I didn't take were things that would be good in boss battles good at, you know super good against one enemy you know and limited use but it wouldn't matter because the whole battle is beating this one guy i did not take things like that and that i think is the problem that i'm having right now All right, I'm just going to I'm just going to go in and sort of see what happens and I'm sure this one isn't going to work, but we're going to see um we're going to see what we need to change. Why do I why do I have a bow? Hold on, I need to see my configuration here. My controller configuration. Uh, how do I shift triangle? Okay. Oh, did I? Hmm. I must have removed her daggers because I uh, didn't want her to switch. So I got to fix that. All right. All right, so here comes the dragon. So I'm going to run back to the other end of the bridge. Oh, and we're going to... girl. Let me demonstrate gonna... how one properly controls a pet. All right. All right, so now you okay. 
Actually, let's start with you. You get your buff up over here. I'm gonna wait a little bit and then I'm gonna mine yes. west. Oh. Let's everybody retreat a little more so that, I, so that I can get around, so that I can get, Leilana can get around the back. Okay, so now Silas has got Threatened, Song of Valor, Shield Cover, Precise Striking, and Perfect Striking, which is about to run out, so that's... That did nothing. Eh, try it for all the good it's going to do you. Magic user with... Weakness... Yes! Alright, this didn't even this didn't work even the slightest bit. Yeah. Alright, so I think I don't wanna be on the other side of that bridge, cause you need room. Because when he knocks you down, you're going to have problems. I think I am going to try Archer. I'm going to try it. Rapid shot, pinning shot. Pinning shot would be really good, actually, if we could stop him from moving around. Let's prioritize that. And I don't even know if I want to waste um, stamina on the rapid shot. Yeah, let's just keep it very simple. All you do is try to pin people down.
We can leave dirty fighting, that's fine. Okay, she gets into trouble. Alright, so this being the case that she's going to just be in the back and shoot arrows, I'm going to be controlling the mage. Now what is Silas's deal? He has 130 stamina. And the precise striking uses 70s. Yeah, it's too... I think it uses too much. It's using half his stamina to make him good for 15... To make him extremely, extremely good for 15 seconds. Now, what about the precise striking? That takes 40. And what it's going to do is attack speed or attack. I think attack means your chance to hit. I don't see the missing. That's not the problem. So I don't care that much about that. But critical chance is good. By the way, I added a mod that put in these numbers, and I'm very glad that I did that. I mean, I still don't know what the numbers really mean, but at least I can compare one set of numbers to another set of numbers that mean the same thing, and I can say, okay, it's twice as good. I still don't know what 300 threat means, but I know it's Twice as good as 150 threat. Um, what else can he do? He can get a lot of crits. See, like, this is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. This is a passive that is going to help him in big fights against lots of people, but this is one dragon. Um, okay, we're going to keep it the... And, you know, his other thing is overpower, which is not going to be too useful against a fucking ginormous, super strong thing. It'll be useful against the mages. He doesn't have the shield defense, which I would have liked. Fuck, this guy can't do much. Do I even have do I even have health potions? Am I wasting my time? Yeah, I literally don't have health potions, so I can put whatever rules I want. It doesn't matter. I don't have them. Shit, this is not good. Why do I somehow feel like... 
less less tactics is not my problem. It's not gonna fix my problem. I wish you could just copy things from one slot to another, but I don't think you can. And this was meant to be. The last time I decided the group heal took up too much mana. The thing is, <laughs> the heal doesn't do much in the first place. You know, and I want to do this surrounded by two enemies is never going to happen. I want to do the mind blast. Just if he's in melee. Yeah, that... At least it'll happen there. I am this guy. I am Sketch. Alright. Let's everybody run this way. I think that'll be better. Let me get out of the way of this breath that's about to go. All right. Weakness. One properly controls the pet. Resisted. Awesome. At least no one got hit by the breath. I'm gonna go towards him a little bit. Mind blast. Face me now. I don't think that did anything. Jesus, God. Let's... Let's rejuvenate Silas. Got it. All right, now what? Let's heroic offense on, uh, let's say Silas. 
He's the one in trouble. Okay. Done no damage to it at all. Heal Silas. Knock back right. Weakness on the dragon again. Uh, I said weakness on the dragon. Jesus, all right, get ready for the... Now, let's heal right now. Oh, is he literally dead? I think he is. Yeah. It'd be great if somebody could do a goddamn thing. Oh my god, now the fire breath, he's dead. No, he's not. Turned around, though. Keep healing. Okay, he's taunting. That's good. Heroic offense. Wait, do I have a Lyrium potion? Better take that. Time. Okay. Now we can do stuff, which does include healing this dude. Gonna have to hang in there one more second. Oh, he's dead. Fuck. Resisted weakness. Motherfucker. Okay. Run up to him, do the mind blast. I don't think that worked. Let's heroic offense on Leilana. Got it. Here comes trouble. Fighting on the drain. Let's heal Leilana because I'm sure she's about to get fucked.
And it's immune to fire. That literally did nothing. Weakness. Immune. Oh, she's she's gonna die right now. Oh, well, I can take a potion. That didn't look good, but I actually think it was closer. Maybe if I start taking my potions a little earlier. Oh, fuck. Did I say? Oh. I don't think it. Fuck. Well, I don't think I saved anything. Oh, my God. This. This fight is making me lose my mind, and I'm not. Fuckers. I'm not remembering to do all the stuff I have to do. Maybe if I vulnerability hexed him, then I hit him with lightning. The problem is then that mana that I don't have for healing. I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm controlling this guy. And I'll do it since I started. Wait, self using magic attack? That's weird. I didn't. How does that even make sense? Did I somehow clear, just clear everything? What am I doing? I'm losing my mind.
All right, I'm going to try to use the precise striking. I'll put it low in the tree, but since I'm sort of in charge of rejuvenating him, maybe it'll work. The shield cover isn't going to matter because... Uh, Nobody's shooting arrows at him. See, I'm not totally sure if Leilana being an archer is the right move here, but it does sort of, it does at least sort of make my life easier in so far as then all I have to do is keep Silas alive because Silas will keep drawing aggro. And I don't have to worry about the dragon going after the other two of us until because we're not going to be near him until Silas is dead. Now the problem is, the potential problem, is that if I'm spending literally all my time healing spot, healing Silas, rejuvenating Silas, keeping Silas up, then I can't do damage myself, and I do have some ability to do damage. All right, let's try it. Did I tell everyone to hold? Let's not do that. Holy girl. Let me demonstrate how one pro You know what I should leave them I should go over here by myself and leave them alone so they don't get hit by the uh by the dragon breath, which is what's about to happen. Seemed like weakness didn't do anything. Let me move a little closer and try, try the mind, try the mind blast. Move back. Heal Silas. Wow, he did get healed. It didn't... Certainly did not do much. Oh, fuck, he's dead already. Oh my god, he got killed in that first second. Get him back up. Heal him again. Good luck, buddy. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do for you. Oh my, and, yeah, and he's almost dead again. And I don't have, then this time all my healing's done. I can only revive, what, two minutes? Yeah, forget, forget that. Sit there, sit here, and take this. Oh, flame breath. Heal myself. Mind blast him. Enough. 
Oh, I can't because he stunned me. Heal myself again. Weakness. I said weakness. Heal Elana. Heroic offense, Leilana. Take a potion. Right. Vulnerability hex the dragon. Now lightning the dragon. Heal Elana. Lightning the dragon again or no nah, weakness. I'll show you. Now nah, lightning the dragon. Well, I'm not Jump letting you get away so easily. How we doing here? Take another potion. All right, Leilana, I think, completely avoided the flame breath. Good, a heroic offense her again. Oh, she's already got a heroic offense. How can you tell that? Uh, you know what? I'm going to rejuvenate myself so I don't keep chugging potions. Can you do that? Is that a thing you can do? It seems to be totally married to the fact I'm casting Rurigo. I guess I cast yes. it around the area. Why can't I cast this freaking spell? Me? No. Fuck. Okay, whatever, whatever. Flame Blast isn't going to help. Oh, Mind Blast. What weird mode am I in that this is happening? Right. Am I, am I stunned? Is that the issue? Oh, is the dragon... He went away or something? Can I do shit now, please? Fuck! Now Silas is back. What? Why? Heal him. Weakness on the dragon. Resisted, obviously. Leyline's gonna die. He's... You know what? Oh. Great. That stop us. Oh my... Oh shit, really? Alright, me against the dragon, just... Lightning and heals. Lane Blast isn't gonna help. Mind Blast. Uh. 
That's a little frustrating. I was within a sliver. A sliver. And by the way, I've gotten past this part. This is not this is not even like the problem. This is not even the hard part. I've gotten this far. I've gotten pat I've killed this dragon. Uh, Alright, so you all stand there and I go over here and hopefully he just breathes as soon as he comes down. Let me demonstrate how one pro Weakness never works. I blast. This dude's dead already. Stunned everybody. Never Heal Elana. Going back. All right, maybe I can do some lightning stuff there. Oh, Silas is gonna die again. Well, this is not gonna. This is not going to work. Unless I can heal him in time, but I doubt it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think the flame blast missed everything. Lightning will do a lot of damage when he's vulnerable. The thing is that it's going to completely destroy Leilana. Oh, he just hit me for 62. That's great. I will. I'll show you. There, I heal myself. Now he's after me. Something. I forgot that. I think my job here is just to do some damage to it before I die and hopefully, oh, which I failed at. Oh, I can go all the way back here. That's interesting. Oh. This is how I can cheese this fight. Okay. Whoop. Oh, that hit. Careful now. Oh, whoop. Oh. 
What is it doing? Here comes trouble. Yeah, but guess what? This is not gonna cheese the fight against these guys who are about to come out. Switch back to sketch here. Oh, Silas is down already. That's interesting. Now, of course, I have the option to, um, bring it down to a lower difficulty level. But that is an option that I'm never going to take. And it doesn't make sense that I should have to take it because this DLC is like, It's not like I am skipping parts. It's not like I am getting this fight earlier than I'm supposed to. There's a certain amount of content in the DLC and I've been through every bit of it and I'm supposed to be able to do this fight. So somehow I have to be able to do it. He ran right into the flame breath. That was great. All right, now maybe I can lightning it some. It's going after me. How dare you? Am I dead? Stunned. Yes, I am. Okay. Smart, smart work by the dragon. Another ball in the game. Because if the mage goes down, obviously I can't heal anybody. Hello. He usually doesn't do that, and he shouldn't do that, because I... Because I have the warrior set to, um... Constantly draw aggro. The thing is... I cannot keep that guy alive. He is... Two twelve, and this his health is two twelve, and this thing can do like sixty five with a hit, and it can knock you down and get in like a couple of hits. I cannot keep this. I cannot keep the fighter on his feet. which usually doesn't work. Oh, let me demonstrate how one pro Vulnerability Hex. Come and get it. 
Okay, vulnerability hexed work, lightning. You demand it. We actually are doing damage, okay. Vulnerability hex is a big part of this. I'm gonna... Boost Silas. He's still coming after me. Silas, you gotta do something. I better rejuvenate Silas so he can... Rejuvenate or regenerate? Rejuvenate. So you can talk. Whoa! Better heal myself. As soon as I finish falling down. Fuck! Is that all you've got? Yeah, sure. I'm go ahead. I mean, honestly, maybe you should wait till I get past this park because I have literally died doing this like twenty-five times. I don't think it's fun viewing. Is it stuck there because the pinning is shot or is it just bugged? From shadow to your heart. Ah! All right, back to the mage. What have I got? Need a potion. Okay, Silas is going to be dead right now. Oh, he's not. I'm going to I'm going to wait for him to die cuz it's going to happen right now. Now we'll revive. Need to walk up to this mage, mind blast him. Okay, that worked. Now, vulnerability hex. Now, stunt. Now, lightning. Meanwhile, I gotta like heal my peoples. Better take another potion. We'll do the group heal. Oh my, oh, he's, Silas is about to die again. All right, well, I can't help that. Flame breath. Spell immunity. Jesus Christ, really? Spell immunity? So what the fuck am I supposed to do? He can attack me, I can't attack him. Nah, that weakness. Resisted. All right, lightning right back at you, jackass. Heal myself. I don't think it's going to happen in time. I 
Drink another potion. Heal myself again. Shit, okay. I think so, I don't know. Alright, two guys down. I've never gotten that far. Heal Leilana. He's gonna kill me right now, though. That's the thing. Mind blast. This needs to work. It did work. Right. Well, except for the fact that it said stunned and he's still chasing me around. Potion. He's gonna kill me right now. Heal myself. I will. Yep. Fuck a duck. And he's barely hurt. Yeah, there's there's no way. There's no way. So here's the thing. When you that mage is squishy. If you can get to him, he goes down. So after you kill the dragon, you just rush that guy. The problem is that after I killed the dragon, I'm usually like half health on everybody. Okay. Vulnerability hex on the dragon, because I actually think that Let me demonstrate how um, lightning is one of my best weapons against it, and it tends to work as opposed to weakness, which tends not to work. Am I about to die this flame breath? Not quite. Heal myself. Is that all you've got? Right. It's great that the pitting shot works so well, and meanwhile, it doesn't matter because this guy, as long as he's in melee with you, he kills you anyway. But look at this pinning shot. Like, he cannot, he cannot go anywhere because he keeps getting hit with the pinning shot, but it just doesn't matter. Okay, so...
everybody get, I don't know, like here so I can see what the fuck is happening? Okay. So. Alright, well, okay. First we need a... Ocean. And then we need a real quick group heal. Alright, good enough. Now. Leilana. Mage. Silas. Mage. And in fact... Alright, you don't have enough... Stamina to do anything, that's fine. You know what? As stupid as this is, I'm going to switch Leilana over to, to daggers. Put this guy out of commission. You just... Yes. Just go get him and I... The mage, I'm gonna have to just try to deal with this Fucking fighter. Stunned him. Okay, that's exactly what we need. Now heal. Wish I could get a good angle. Now heal Silas. Okay. Now take a potion. Yes. Now I'm gonna... Vulnerability Hicks the commander. Cause I'm gonna fuck him up with lightning. Nope, gotta heal Silas. I may not even get it in time. Nope. Great. Right. Oh, I can revive. Ah! All right. And the potion. Yes. And how are we doing? I'm very confused. The mage is over here. Why? Oh, that right there, group heal. <laughs> then I'm gonna vulnerability hex the mage. Lightning him. He's down. Okay. Heal. Silas. Oh my god, he just takes a fucking beating. Flame blast? Nope. Gotta move closer. My turn. Whoop. I got them both. That's not great. Fuck, this guy's taking virtually no damage. I gotta get closer in mind, in mind blast. Don't 
does nothing. She's going to go down. I'm trying to do all this fancy spell shit to him. He's just hitting me with the sword and completely obliterating. I will. Yeah, I'm gonna die next. I'm gonna die in one second. Next hit. I mean, I need to get past the dragon with everyone. I need to get past the dragon without anyone dying. That's the only way that I'm going to be in good enough shape to... Because that guy hits basically as hard as a dragon. I don't think he has quite as many abilities, but... I can't take him and the mage on with everyone at half health, so I have to get past the dragon. I... No idea how the fuck I would ever do that. Ever. Ever. Yes. Unruly girl. Now oh, he resisted the vulnerability hex. Resisted that too. Jesus. Oh, I was going to mind blast him. That's why I was running towards him. Try weakness again, I guess. Maybe it worked. Okay, I'm gonna wait for my vulnerability hex to get back up before I hit him with lightning. Is it not quite back yet? Okay. Did it work? I don't know. I'm gonna do it anyway. Fuck it. Very here, little Silas. Oh, now Silas is in tremendous trouble. I 
Yeah, he's dead. There, take a potion. Lame breath. Let me heal myself. I don't know if that's going to be enough to actually survive this. Mind bless. This, is, this, this needs to work. Which it didn't. Now he's gonna jump on me and I'm gonna be dead. Oop, change that heal. Heal, whoop, that's not what I meant. Oh, I didn't, I can't change it, I already cast it. Jesus. He moves so fast, too. Alright, heal Silas. Actually, arguably not in terrible shape. Oh, he can't take liver potions? Need to rejuvenate. Oh, I need to take a potion. Good. Then I need to rejuvenate Silas. Have some unwanted now let's see. Right now, Silas. Wait, this spell didn't fully work yet, I don't think. Okay, here we go. Okay. Silas, go get the mage. No, not moving. Attack. Attack him. Yeah, we never do that. Leilana pinning shot the mage, which I think she's doing. No, she's not. And I'm gonna have to heal Silas before he gets yes. in there. We'll All right. Now I just have to not die to the warrior. I will. All right, I'm gonna have to run up to him a second, mind bless. 
Oh my god, he's... Holy shit. He's so close to dead already. He is dead. I'm definitely dead. Why not attacking the wrong fucking person? Whatever, it doesn't matter. I cannot stand up to this guy for two seconds. That group heal did very little. Jesus, that last guy is so tough. I mean, they programmed it really well in terms of tactics. Where the mage is just hiding in the back, it's very hard to get to her. And she's just boosting that guy, boosting that guy, boosting that guy, boosting that guy. And it's hard to get around him to get to her. And if you, if he gets to you, you are dead. Alright, let's get rid... This guy's using too much stamina. Let's get rid of the taunt and just have the threaten. And let's get rid of the perfect striking. Do we even need the precise striking? Let's get rid of it. Let's see how it goes. This is it. He's just going to use this one sustained ability that costs 35. It's cheap. So we'll have more mana available. I'm controlling him, so that's not a big deal. 
I didn't do this right. How long does it last? Uh, you know what? I think it's important that he does this. Taunt is stronger, even though it costs more. I think we have to do it. It's important that he, that the dragon not go after, especially the mage. Okay. Silas up front, but don't rush right at him, which I know you're going to. Oh, and actually, you know what, Silas? Take the... I should have done this before when I could still save. Take the get breathed on by the dragon potion. Yes, let me demonstrate. Okay, it worked. He's coming after me, is the problem. Here comes the flame breath. I'm going to rejuvenate Silas right now. Ran into the flame. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because of the way this game works. Things look like they're happening simultaneously when they're not. Heroic offense on Silas. Right. Let's start with the healing of Silas. Yep, he got fucked. And fucked again. And dead. Now I can revive him, but this is the problem. He gets revived and he's like half health. And you know, I can't I can't just recover from that. He interrupted my shit and he killed me. Yeah, forget it, forget it, forget it. This is the dilemma here, is that we, the more people who are in melee with him, like he's very able to deal with multiple allies in melee because he has a roar that stuns everybody and he has like the wing attack. 
so I only want ideally one person to be in melee with them, but if I do that, that person gets fucked up and down. And no matter how good I am at healing, I cannot keep him up. It just happens too fast. Yes. Ah! Right. All right, he breathed at nothing. That's good. And trying to get Silas back to his self. Do something, Silas. Didn't do anything. I think I wasn't close enough. Keep healing Silas. Here comes trouble. Right. Take a potion. And I can't even Ready. do anything yet. Okay. Codex updated. That's interesting. That never happened the first literally 30 times we did this. What does that mean? I wonder if I can save in that fraction of a second. And here's what we're going to do now. Leilana, back to this. Alright, how am I going to tell her... Now this should be first. What's below the belt do again? Uh, defense, all right, that's not going to matter against the mage. Should do that to the sword guy, though. Okay, so now, hopefully unless she's being attacked, she's going to go after the magic user. 
Silas. All right, let's just do just do this. Difference between shield bash and shield pummel. Okay, shield bash will knock them down, shield pummel will stun them. I mean, those both kind of amount to the same thing, don't they? Which one was... There. Oh, self, not enemy, not self, Jesus. All right, so what I'm hoping to accomplish here is. Silas, go after the mage. Try to use your shit if you can. Leilana switches over to um, being an assassin, which is what she's better at anyway, and tries to use her shit. And I will control the mage. And then we're going to see how this goes. Let's do the group heal first. Weakness on this dude. My teammates are not doing anything. I don't know why. Gonna take a little potion. Got to go. Something. Oh, I didn't give her daggers. Well, that could be why she's not going over there. Seal Silas. Right. I mean, my vulner I vulnerability hex this guy, so lightning should be good. You ask for it. <laughs> Flame. Uh, gotta move back a little. There we go. All right, well, the good part is the mage is virtually dead. The bad part is this guy, fucking nothing has been done to him. Uh, uh. All right, keep healing Silas. Who is where? Oh, my God. 
God, he's getting turbo fucked. Shit. Right. Take a gigantic potion. So I can get this dude back up. Can't quite do it. Heal myself. Fuck, it worked okay. To heal myself again. Okay. I better take another potion. Lightning. Is that all you've got? Very little damage done to this dude. She got hit back. Hey. Can't quite do that, yeah. Do I not have enough mana? Not quite there yet. Why can't I do this? Fuck, I'll take a push. I am... I am close to out of tricks here at the... Resisted great lightning. Heal Lana. Yeah. Nah, I need to heal Silas real quick. Dundum. Why did that happen? Bloody. Mind blast. If we can do it again. Stunned. Dip. Resisted. More lightning. Heal Silas. All right, I'm like out of mana here. You guys need to finish this. I can't do shit right now. Finally, a fair fu fight. I've waited for this. Ah. 
Now, what happens if we have to fight her girlfriend, the thief, next? I don't know Your what the fuck I'm going to do. Said, the bards of Orle have earned their reputation. But I remember the scared little girl in my cell. Why aren't you dead? Ole and Ferelden will both hear the facts of your legacy. Once I've had my fun, of course. No! Yeah, if I have to fight this woman, I give up. this I'm doing every one of these lives it's more fun when it's personal it's more fun when you have an outrageous French accent what did the lovely mother offer for her papers something as entertaining as what I did to get them the papers don't matter I take them back for nothing. Then I was right to think you were dangerous. Please don't. Please don't do not. Don't around on me. What you did was inexcusable. Once you started to question, it was only a matter of time before you would betray me. That's what I would have done. So I did it first. 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 I can't do it. I can kill her in a cutscene, that's fine. I just cannot do another fight right now. No. So you say, but here you are, weapon in hand. I'm not your pretty thing anymore. I'm not your mirror. If this was reversed, you'd wake every day expecting my blood. Reversed. Marjolaine, we are the same. But we're not the same because you're saying if the situation was reversed, you'd do something different than what I would do. That means we're not the same. Do you want to know a secret? That moment I keep, because even now, I don't know what ending serves best. But being able to choose, that is the truth of this story. The rest, it changes with the audience. All things change when they find purpose. Hmm. I wonder what became of like all the stuff that I wasted so much time at the beginning wondering about. When I had to rearrange the, in the marketplace, it was like you could just steal the stuff or you could use it to frame other people. I guess none of that added up to anything. None of that, none of those decisions were important. It was a good DLC. It was interesting, the story. But man, that last fight, I had to micromanage to a ridiculous extent. Like, every single every single turn and like i said i think partially it was because i didn't build i didn't build my people in a one fight sort of way which is stupid because obviously i know this dlc doesn't go 20 levels i shouldn't build my character like it's long term So that was part of it for sure, but damn, it, it was just, it was just hard. 
I guess not impossible to. Yeah, no, I mean, eventually I. Eventually I did, and I don't know what there is to tell. It's like if you can get past. If you can get past the dragon with everyone sort of close to full health. And then you rush the mage to take him out. And and then I just uh you know, so then you're just left with the uh with the very powerful fighter guy. So I just cast like weakness and vulnerability on him to debuff him, kept healing my people, kept debuffing him, kept healing my people, and eventually it worked. But the key parts were A being not being totally dead when we killed the dragon. Silas went down, but I was able to get him back up. And killing the mage quickly. So I had to switch Leilana over after the dragon was killed. I switched her over from archer to assassin so she could go get the mage. So I, I did a ton. I, I micromanaged every single aspect. Every turn, every tactic. Yikes. And now... And now, we're going to go back to the regular game where after having done three DLC, especially that one, which uh, took a long time and I basically took a week off in the middle of it, I have no clue what's happening in the regular game right now. But we're going to get back to it. Oh. That's interesting. That was... That was the, um... That was the fight we just did. Oh, interesting. Look at this, to... Shit. To get back to the regular game, I have... All these saves are... Leilana DLC saves. To get back to myself, I have to switch character. Over here. It's wild. By the way, don't take that time plate seriously because sometimes I just leave the game on in the background. I play this a lot for sure, but not that much. All right, so let's just sort of do the big picture recap, which is that. We sort of were given... At the beginning, it was like there were four places. We were trying to raise an army to fight the Darkspawn, right? So there's at the beginning, it said, okay, there are four places you could go to try to get people to try to get allies. The... Red Cliff, which is run by the uncle of the dead king. So not only might they be willing to fight with you, but you might be able to sort of put that person forward as the possible next king. An idea that became a lot less appealing once we discovered that Alistair is the brother of the dead king. So he, he has an even better claim. 
So that was first place to go was Redcliffe. We did that, and we discovered that they were having a problem with the uh, undead because this guy, the uncle of the former king, his son, so I guess the king, the former king's first cousin, was being possessed by a demon. So in order to solve that, we had to go to the second place we were supposed to go anyway, which was the Circle of Mages. So we went there, and guess what? They had also all been killed by the invasion of demons, basically. But we were able to round up enough mages to come back to Rycliffe and get the, and get the demon out of the first kid. Lots of demons. So we have done those first two initial missions, Redcliffe and the Circle of Mages. Now, Redcliffe sort of led to another thing, which is that this uncle of the former king, he is sick, and we think that the only way that could possibly cure him is to get this ancient artifact. So now that has sort of branched off into another mission that we could do. So those are the so we're gonna do that. We're gonna go after this urn of sacred ashes. And those are sort of the first two things that we out of four that we could have pursued. The other two things that we could have pursued were go get the dwarves to join the army and go get the elves to join the army. We've heard very little about the dwarves other than that it's they're living on the outskirts or whatever and it's scary. And made no progress towards that. And the elves we haven't even heard anything about them i have no idea where they are what they want what they do anything so we really have focused very heavily on that first 50 percent and made no progress towards the other 50 percent but we're gonna stick with it we're gonna go where this right cliff mission is now leading us and uh try to get this urn of sacred ashes that hopefully can cure the dying king. All right. I'm just going to go because I don't know what, if any set up I have to do so Very I'm just well. gonna go indeed yes indeed so yeah the place where we want to go to do this is Denerim. This is allegedly where the urn is. And this is where Logan is. So this is going to be real interesting. We have all kinds of quests to go here. The game obviously wants us to go here very badly. kind of weird path is this? Oh, I guess I go down the river? Okay. Okay. Have not seen anyone yet I can talk to. Okay, here's a religious person. The one who repents, who has faith unshaken by the darkness of the world, and roasts not, nor gloats over the misfortunes of the weak, but takes delight in the Maker's law and creations. Boasts. It's boasts, sister, not roasts. She shall know the peas of the Maker's benediction. The light shall lead her safely through the paths of this world and into the next. Peace, sister, peace. She shall know the peace 
of the Maker's benediction. The veal holds no uncertainty. For okay, this is a good bit, but where are we no going with this? For the Maker shall be her bacon and her shield, her foundation and her. There's no veal in the chant. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Uh, they may be a little, she, the one on the right may be a little insulted if I say, oh, this version's better. Let's do this. Oh, it's not an interruption, dear. We were just finishing up before mealtime. What can I do for you? Can you tell me about the chant? I already know Pray about the chant. for the good people of Denerim who have lost loved ones at Ostagar. It's usual to recite a stanza from Transfigurations when you pray for the departed. It's usual to recite the stanza correctly. But that's what I said. All right, we get the bit. It's not bacon, it's... I forget what the hell it was. Can you tell me about the chant? The chant is the sacred fucking thing Can that you, you say. the chant? What? As if it's a cake you might buy? Well, it's done enough, but a little too much nutmeg for my taste. Sister, instructing the ignorant is a sacred duty of the Chantry. Fine, then. What do you want to know? Uh, this is a strange thing to walk into a new town and be confronted with this, which is kind of comedy kind of background but it's background i already know i guess the game doesn't know what order you're going to do the missions in so they're i guess they explain things to you repeatedly because you may not have seen it yet it's the tenth stanza from the transfigurations lovely canticle that one. Oh, you should have heard brother cademan sing it though He had a voice like a bucket full of toads. Revered Mother Boan, bless her heart, always said, if we had more voices like his, the maker couldn't fail to take note of us. Big Tom Waits it situation here. Tragic, really. Such a surprise. We don't speak of that. Where is this going? What is this conversation? He was in charge of the Lyrium storehouse. It wasn't good for him you see he took off all his clothes in the middle of the chart one summer day and ran into the street he tripped and fell into the vat of elderberry wine for the feast and drowned we were six days drying him out for his cremation he looked like a pickled egg so tragic i should be finding this funny it is funny but it's so incongruous with the rest of the game Maybe it's just that I haven't played the base game in quite a while. It just feels very weird. Does the chat mention elves? Yeah, let's try to find out something about elves. Yes and no, dear. The official version of the chant does not speak of the elves. Some of the dissonant verses, however, do mention the disciple Shartan. Shartan? Yeah, he hung out near the taint. Dissonant versions. Okay, so this sounds like a... What do you call that? The Gnostic Gospel or whatever? The, the chant has changed over time. Some of the, the verses that were sung in the past were taken out. The canticles of Shartan were stricken from the chant in the Glory Age. They are no longer sung, though scholars still sometimes read them. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, probably they took out stuff about elves being good because they don't want people to think that. Of course. The official chant of light is written in Tevinta, but it is translated into the languages of the believers. Some ideas are lost in the process of translation and words take on unintended meanings. There's a dreadful pun in the Orlesian version in the Canticle of Threnodes, and languages are always changing. The chant must adapt if it is to be understood by the people hearing it. He was an elven disciple of the Prophet, a former slave like Andraste herself. He rallied his people against the Imperium. He was given to the flames alongside Our Lady. Let's see what excuse she gives for this. 
Divine Renata had the verses removed during the exalted march on the Dales. I don't know what that means. Oh, there are some very stirring canticles about doom and wrath. Darkspawn were created by mankind's second sin. Pride. Yeah, Arrogance the mages tried to aged beast in the invade land of the winter, an emptiness that consumed all dream world, food. yeah. To satisfy its hunger, the mage lords assaulted the golden yep, yep, city, yep, yep, yep. heart of all creation, to take the maker's power for themselves. Why does no one ever sing the good stanzas during chantry services anymore? They speak them. It's called the chant of light, not the speech of light. Sister, would you kindly stop messing up the chant? See how you like being interrupted. Well, you get the general idea, I'm sure. It is almost mealtime, isn't it? Um, uh, blessings of the Maker and of Andraste, his bride, upon you. All men are the work of our Maker's hands, from the lowest slaves to the highest kings. Those who bring ham without provocation to the least of his <laughs> children are breaded and accursed by the Maker. Those who bring ham? And the Maker does not bread sinners. Doesn't he, though? Correcting me. Doesn't he? I know the chant like the back of my hand. Weird bit, weird bit. Sister Justine, well, what have you got? Strange that matters can be so tumultuous and yet the day still be so bright. Oh, my pardon. Just thinking aloud. Yeah, Are that's you totally normal. The board? I know what this is, but whether. Oh, I need to use my shortcuts here. Didn't do it right. Let's just uh, with her. I am Sister Justine, curator of the reliquary of this chantry. <laughs> and pride again. <laughs> it is hard to live up to the example of Andraste. I have always been fascinated with history. What better place to indulge that than the birthplace of the Maker's Prophet? To be the curator of this chantry and to be so young. I fight a battle with pride, and hopefully the Maker can forgive my occasional defeat. The archivist tends the books, and I tend the sacred relics. I also search for more to add to our collection, which is more difficult than it sounds. So, this sounds like it would be where the Erd is. That would be too easy because it's the first place I came, but let's see. My thought exactly, but I'm perpetually amazed at how quickly people accept fantastic claims at face value. A hawker on the street will claim to have an actual finger bone of Andraste. In this city alone, you could make the skeleton of ten prophets from fingers alone. Curators often accept them as genuine. I worry about the authenticity of even our most holy artifacts. Okay, so maybe I will have to figure out whether the urn I find is actually real. When I was a curator of a much smaller chantry in Orlais, I thought that false relics slipped through because of laziness. But the life of the cloth is never an easy one, and that explanation always seemed hollow to me. Now I believe it's the seduction of the divine. We all want a personal connection to the Maker. We want to believe that what we hold in our hands is the actual sandal that slipped from Andraste's foot before the fires consumed her. Faith no, I know that sounds heart, gross. Not of the head. When the heart is ungoverned by reason, charlatans have powerful tools to deceive. and often close to heretical. But I believe that the truth only increases the awe of the Maker and his prophet, not demean it. Even false symbols have the power to inspire, but it seems every year we fall more out of touch with the real Andraste. 
Okay, let's get to the point. Certainly. My research indicates that all of the ashes were gathered into a pot or urn, but it's been lost for centuries. Oh, okay, so stop she doesn't from selling pinches of the ashes she of doesn't have it. gullible pilgrims. The real ashes may still be hidden somewhere, though it's possible the urn broke. Well, there's one that might be real. I couldn't prove it wasn't. Perhaps you can understand my skepticism. So many claims, so few truths. So you have you have entire reliquary or whatever the word is, and only one of them might be real? What is this? You've shown admirable patience listening to my diatribe before. I will not bore you again. Suffice it to say, I look for and authenticate holy relics for the Chantry. Can I not pick of this Of course. Up? Enjoy your visit to the Chantry. Let's not talk to these guys because this place is run by Loghain. Who has banned the Grey Wardens. Even though there's the highly amusing thing that we're walking around in Grey Warden armor. It's like if you ban Batman and someone walks in a Batman costume, then you don't notice. But whether... Side quest, take them all. Okay, we're about that later. The deep dark before dawn's first light seems eternal. But know that the sun always rises. All right. Obviously, I'm going to have to get past these guards to get into the reliquary, area, which seems like an important, th an important place for me to go eventually. Considering I'm trying to find a relic. Like the back of my what? Wait a minute, Mr. Bum Biscuit? Oh, okay. Puppy. All right. I can see why this kid would. Where did you get that? Who am I asking? If I choose this option, who am I asking? Where did you get that? And what is that? I guess I'll pick it. If he comes with us, he's going to have to fight Darkspawn. Let's see what he says. Um... That was cute, but I feel like I could have handled that in a way such that something would have happened instead of what I did. Like, I want to have a conversation with the child, not the dog. Oh, well, I guess I messed that up. This is Chantry. I knew that. Wade's Emporium, Wade's Emporium. All right, I'll just walk around. Well, I guess let me look at my quest and see if... Any of them jump out as things I can actually do. Friends of Red Jenny. Okay, Market District. Well, that's where I am. I don't know where exactly I have to go. Thieves in the back alleys. Okay. A guy who we don't know who he is. A sextant. Oh, 
oh, well, uh, this is funny. This is just where I just was in the last they DLC. That's fun. Anything here. I once got pickpocketed. Good day. The market is busy, is it not? Come, rest here. I have the finest selection of flowers and Orlesian scented oils in all of Denerim. For a lady friend, perhaps? Roses can open any woman's heart, you know. I feel like Morgan wouldn't be into that. I am from Orlais. You've heard of us, no? This Denerim is a fine city, but I miss my Varroyo. She's quite beautiful this time of year. What I miss most are the clothes. The avenue of flowers this time of year has so many colors. And the skirts. Fine wools, cloths. Many only the nobleborn can afford. Ferelden is more muted. Its fashion's quite old. But I like the people of this city very much. What's the matter with fashion? We like it very much. I was expecting Leilan to chime in at some point there, but she didn't. Orle has many, many good things, but it is sometimes not so good to be common. My brother had trouble with a chevalier, and we departed. Chevalier. Yes, yeah, some of the places in this game are very thinly veiled versions of real places. Sometimes they combine historical things like the main religious figure is sort of a cross between Jesus and Joan of Arc. Many of them are recognized. What's well, a chevalier? I know that, but... You know so little of Orlais here. The chevaliers are knights of the highest order. They are the most skilled in the world. Their discipline, formidable. For their formidable. service, they're allowed privileges. They can do whatever they want to the lesser born. Because there is little choice. There are so many wonderful things about Orlais, but Ferelden has something precious. Here, a man, or a yeah. woman, is born free and lives free. I do not understand it, but the nobles here are not so high, and none of us are quite so low. As much as I miss my Varroyo, I love where I am. Can't believe we're having this entire conversation about a relay and I have a person from Orlais in my party and she's not saying anything. Yep, yep. I could bring up that the elves aren't so free, but I don't know, it's not her fault. A chevalier took an interest in me. It was his right, but it was unwelcome. Incensed, my brother hit him over the head with a pot. Such a thing is almost treason. We left that very night and came here. That's a sad story. Perhaps where you are from. But in human lands, things are sometimes not so clear. Many revere the Chevaliers for their skill, honor, and deeds. But others tread lightly. As lightly as the mouse in the cat's den. If you will excuse me, I, I feel a touch lightheaded. Wait, can I buy stuff from you? Aren't you a merchant? It is a pleasure to see you again. Have my okay. flowers enticed you? Flowers. Oh, you tire of the smells of the city and would buy my Orlesian oils? Did I do this yet? Much of the city is still a mystery to me, but the markets is like my home. Circle and sorcelled objects can be found in the wonders of Thedas in the alleyway north. The armorer Wade and his emporium are just to the south. If you need work, Wade's emporium. The Wade's to the emporium is a chanter's board. And if your thirst is strong, head to the Nord Noble Tavern north of here. Be prepared, though; they do put on many airs. Where are you from? Uh, we just had that conversation. I guess we'll do this whole thing one more time actually buy stuff even though i don't know what i'm going to do with flowers or oils have my flowers enticed you flowers or perhaps you tire of the smells of the city and would buy my orlesian oils what about something more practical 
And smelling good is not? Ferelden is no longer full of barbarians. People judge with their noses as well as their ears and eyes. But you look more... armed than most of my patrons. Perhaps you seek the armor smith, Wade, then to the south? He is quite the artiste, yes? That's it, so your only purpose was to tell me a disturbing story about soldiers who are allowed to do whatever they want? A uh, chest probably should not just walk up to that and open it. A book, which I can look at. Let's do that. The Noadar Anthology of Dwarven Poetry. Exactly, J. Will. I wonder if this is a Vogon kind of joke where the joke is that dwarves are not very good poets. Yeah, uh, it's a Dr. Seuss joke. All right. It's pretty funny. It is pretty funny. By the Paragon Seuss. Well, you just... You took it too far. Peridium. We've got the word perinium in this game. Oh, mercy. All right, what do you do? If you have coin, welcome to our shop. If not, move along. Too many refugees blocking customers. Okay, don't be racist. Just sell me things. Better trade cities to the north, but plenty good trade here. Now with war and blight, business is bad. Yeah, maybe name him like Paragon, I don't know, Sam, like Sam I am, or I don't know. I don't have a better joke, but that wasn't a good finisher. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm not going to spend this much on poisons, which I've never used ever. I mean, this shit isn't going to be bearing what I have, is it? Not even close. Oh, well, this was, this was the Superman sword. This was forged out of a mysterious meteor or something. Crow dagger. Let's compare that to what Leilana has. I think it's, this might be the same. Oh, it's better. Oh, it's got three. Oh, man. It's got three places. It's got three. Uh, it can fit three runes. It's pretty expensive. It is pretty expensive. But it is something I need. And it's not super expensive. I'll probably get that. Nah, that's that it is better, I think. Even though it has fewer um special abilities, just the fact that it's a little better armor and it's much less fatigue. It probably is better, but I don't think that's worth four gold. Alistair's the only one with a shield. No, it's not. Jeez, it's not nearly as good. 
This is all you got or is this just the weapons? All you sell is weapons. That's all you sell. That's fine. Okay, let's get that uh, dagger. Okay. And giving it to Leilana instead of... Ooh, she can't use it yet. Does she need? Dexterity, she needs one more dexterity. Okay. So obviously... Obviously she will get that. Okay, that's fine. I'm just reluctant to talk to any officials. Maybe I'm paranoid, but I feel like I don't want to attract official attention to myself when Grey Wardens have been banned. I recognize you from Ostagar and trust this blood. You're a Grey oh, Warden, Duncan's think... apprentice. You killed my friend. And good King Kalen. I demand satisfaction, sir. All right, let me try to talk my way out of this one. With super talking skills. I have heard of the Grey Warden's prowess, and you seem more capable than you did at Ostagar. I won't throw my life away. Too many people depend on me, and I doubt guards would pose any challenge to you. But by word and deed here, you condemn yourself, sir. Yeah, don't don't bring your knife to a tongue dwarven fight. Dwarven crafts, fine dwarven crafts. What I mean is, Orzammar. I can you talk people into better. things. Welcome, welcome. We sell only the strongest dwarven steel, folded over a hundred times in the forges of Orzammar. In times like this, surely your group could use some extra protection on the road. Do you know anything about dwarves? We don't know well, anything about dwarves, can, really. But my policy is not to sell things that don't belong to me. Volt's going on. The lands meets the big news. Every dusty noble estate in Denerim is airing its sheets, waiting for the Lord to ride into town. The land meet. I don't know what that is. I don't even necessarily know who the Lord is. Did, you, did they mean Logan? I don't know what you're talking about. It's the capital of Ferelden, so naturally the Queen and Regent are at the top. But the man who seems to be running the city guard is the new Arl Rendon Howe. Came in from somewhere up north. Okay, you're just going to say the same thing again? The lands meets the big news. Yeah, okay. Every dusty noble estate in Denerim is airing its sheets, waiting for the Lord to ride into town. Okay, so we got some foreshadowing. Don't know what it means yet. Every piece comes with a stamp of assurance from my wife's father, the best smith in Denerim. Mel Shard. How to make traps. Okay. I don't do that. Dagger. It's better, but it can't be... It can't be enchanted. So it's not better, really. No, not even close. Nope, 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 nope. Hmm. Nah, it's even worse. Nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. Gloves. Well... Alistair has a whole ensemble, and if you don't wear the whole, if you don't wear matching things, you 
if you wear matching things, you get a boost that it's not worth it to mix and match, even if the individual piece would be better because you lose the boost for having things that match. Ooh, she has the... Yeah, I'm not going to want heavy boots. Yeah. Manual for a Berserker, which A, I can't afford, and B, if I was using Sten, I probably would make him a Berserker, but since I'm not, I don't think I can use that. Though the question is raised, what would I want Alistair to be? Okay, I don't think I see those options until I actually, the specialization options, until I can get them. So I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, I don't think I can see this unless I actually have a specialization waiting. I don't know what I'm going to do with Dean. But it doesn't matter because I haven't met anyone who can teach me any of these things, so I can't do them. Anyway, you didn't have anything... Fade the Apprentice. You have a name. So. What is it? I have work to do. Well, then don't... Oh. You're a side quest. What does it say? Ah. I knew this would happen. Just when I was starting to get good. Well, thanks. I guess. Alright, so that was... I have side quests where I do things for the Mages Collective. I um I deliver letters that they want delivered and such. I think at some point I'm gonna have to talk to the official people. This person's just standing there. Okay. You're allowed. Good to see you again. More side quests. I'm going to go everywhere I can without talking to an official person, but I feel like at some point I'm going to have to. Okay, those are for shale, which I'm never going to use. Who or what are you? My client appreciates your generosity. Okay, I assume I just did another side quest. Okay. You are a sergeant, but you have an exclamation point over your head. So I will talk to you. You here to report another crime? I swear we should just cordon off the entire district. Oh, uh, can I help you, Warden? Your likeness was passed around to the senior guardsmen at the palace. I yep, must yep, say, yep. This is what I was afraid of. Uh, don't worry. Even if I believe the uh, official are, story of what happened yeah. at Ostagar, I'm no fool. If I asked my men to apprehend you, they'd all run and cry big sobby tears in their courtesans' bosoms and leave me all alone to be skewered. Don't disturb the peace in the market, and that's well enough for me. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. The officials are after me. This guy happens not to agree with them, but probably the typical guard would try to bring me in, so I don't want that. <laughs> what? You're serious? I mean, yes, yes, I could use I mean, I've got a pretty popular... Uh, I don't know why as a character I'm doing this, but you had an, an exclamation point on your head, so... Forbid, hurt, and I'll have to explain to their noble fathers that being a god is actually dangerous. 
Do a good job and I'll see you get some silver in your pockets. Maybe even some gold. Bitch, I got like five gold. Whether. The name of the whorehouse is the Pearl. Beat down any mercenaries that are out of line and send them a message. I said beat down, not kill. Let me make that really clear. Not on fire or exploded or make a nose, whatever type of grisly death you can dream up. Sorry. Used to giving orders to my boys. Just leave them breathing and I'll be happy. I don't think there is a way to do that. To non-lethally attack somebody. I assume and I hope that when I do this quest, it'll just do that for me. Because I don't think I can do that on purpose. Not kill people. Thank you, Warden. Happy hunting. Alright, whatever that was. We, we had like... 10 side quests to do here when we got here. And now we just got like 5 more. Gonna be in this town a while, I guarantee you that. Okay, what is... Oh, tavern. Okay, well... It's always a good place to go. Of course, also a good place to get arrested. Waitress, waitress, book. This is where the nobility comes to get drunk and decide who is the most self-important of them all. Good times. Busy day today. I thought I was going to be able to order food or drink. That's usually Busy what happens today. when you speak to a waitress. Okay, here's a bartender. Ooh, he's got a fancy chest. What can I get you, stranger? Our old wolf has gone to Denerim to plead his case with Tyr and Loghain, I hear. West Hills has been hit hard by the dark spawn, and Wolf wants the fighting over the throne to stop. Anything else you need? Okay, I never heard of this wolf guy before. Yeah, it's true, Jay Will. It's a it's a dark world out there. Is this gonna be like uh the dwarf at my camp where he has fifteen different rumors? There's been another clash of forces, this time north of Lothering. Both the Benorn and Loghain are saying that they won this clash, so we're not sure exactly what happened yet. From the sounds of it, I think the forces accidentally crossed each other and began fighting. What a bloody mess. Anything else you need? So the good news is that we are not the only people who doesn't who don't want Logan to become king. It's not just us against the world. There seem to be a lot of other people who do not want that, even though he's a popular war hero and has a decent claim. There's news come out of Redcliffe at last. Seems that Arl Eamon has come down with some deadly sickness, probably to blight, and he may even die. If he does it probably means no one else can stand up to Tyrn Loghain in the land's meet. Rather fortunate turn for Tyrn, no? Anything else you need? I should tell this guy, well, I have the new king of my parties right here. Okay, so the land's meet is, I guess, where they pick the king. Which kind of sounds familiar. I think that might be a real thing in our world. In some country anyway there's terrible news everyone is talking about a battle in the north between Logain's men and Ban Bronick the ban was utterly crushed someone told me that he was meeting with Logain to talk terms but I don't believe it surely Logain would never attack someone attempting to parley anything else you need well if you think he's such a great guy that he wouldn't attack someone trying to negotiate then why do you also seem to think he poisoned his rival. Out, he's siding with the throne. That's not surprising considering his lands border Logain's. He probably fears what Logain might do to him if he turns. Anything else you need? All right. Another potential ally, ally I guess. Haven't been overrun by the dark spawn yet. They seem as disorganized as we do, scattering all over the place in great mobs. Maybe there's something to the talk. 
that this isn't a proper play. That there's no archdemon leading the lot. Maybe they won't even march north. Anything else you need? Well, this wouldn't be much there's of a video here. out of the mage tower that the circle of magi had a close call. Demons got out, but the mages were able to overcome them. Though, not without a lot of damage. I know mages bring such yep, terror that was me. themselves, but I, I did that. I'm glad we we'll still have magic to wield against the darkspawn. Anything else you need? Tell me something that I didn't do myself. I had a strange rumor the other day. King Kalen was not really Merrick's son, you see. Merrick's You're close. Real son is hidden You're in close. Palace and has been since he was born. I suppose they feed him cakes all day to keep him content. Maybe he's simple. Well, he's a, a little simple. Merrick's real son, a mage. Can you imagine? Anything else you need? It's too bad I can't tell people about Alistair. What happened to any, happen to any other nobleman who doesn't live up to the oath nope. he swore to serve the throne? There's a lot of folks angry about it. Some of the Banorn who weren't saying anything are now saying that Loghain is trampling on their rights as sovereign lords. Seems like more fighting is inevitable at this point, doesn't it? Sad state of affairs. All right, so Loghain is sort of... Anything else you need? Having a lot of problems, and we haven't even done anything to him. Habron, daughter of the Earl of Southreach, has spent an exorbitant amount of her father's coin buying puppies. Mm. I like no that the dog made a sound puppies. when he heard. I wonder she if this isn't. No I wonder if this is intentional or anything else you need? just a coincidence. Because the dog just does make random noises. But I wonder if they programmed it to make a noise when he hears about the puppies. That sounded bad. I don't know what to tell you. Nothing I can think of at the moment. Uh, whoop. Okay, now let's actually what order drinks. You, oh. This first option is, I guess, something I should do? Cool, more side quests. Oh, boy. What can I get you, stranger? Right, I'll show you around. Oh! I thought this was just going to be basically a flavor thing where he get a drink. He has real stuff. Great. Ooh, injury kit recipe requires expert herbalism. How close? Morgan's the one with herbalism. How close is she to that? She only needs one more. That's really enticing, but you know what? It what was expensive. You, right, I'll show you around. It was ex. Oh, it's like all my money. Nah, I can't really do that. Maybe if, you know, I'm sure if I have a whole bunch of money, it'll save me long term. Um, but I don't have enough money to. I don't have enough to put down a down payment on that. How am I doing on flats? Five. I'll get a few more. They're cheap. Oh, the sale is a gift. I think I already have it. I was hoping to have an in-game drink. I guess not. Okay. And I wonder what's in that chest, but that seems like a bad idea. Sophie's guard has got it going on. Who is Sophie? My shift's nearly over. Thank Andraste. Are you? No, you're a waitress. I'm confused. I don't know who Sophie is. Let's just go in.
Crimson Ores Leader. Crimson Ores Mercenary. Okay. So I just walked into like a gang hideout. Let me talk to someone who isn't in the gang. Huh. I suppose you want a drink now, do you? Five percent tip for you. Make us blessings upon you, Warden. All right. Let's talk to the leader. I'm a crimson ore. Watch why you're looking or we'll rip your damned <laughs> eyes out and piss in your skull. Another round for me, Ben. Uh, it's funny how the tone of this game, once we got to the city, it became a little wackier. I don't know what to make now of this. Now we drink more. Now we drink more. Okay, so these guys are pirates, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Now we drink more. I mean, now they drink more. That's clear. Psycho. <laughs> we will never be done with this city. Never mind this game. Holy Make crap! Make us blessings upon you, warden. All right, keep going. I imagine you have already composed a suitable ballad to commemorate the events at Redcliffe, Leliana. Why would I do such a thing? You have taken up your instruments once again, have you not? So to speak, a bard takes events of great import and puts them to tail. What happened at Redcliffe was horrible. So many people died, and they were violated by unimaginable evil forces. That was not so difficult, was it? You may wish to add music, however. You make it sound Sing, like Morrigan. What there. I can barely stomach to think of it. But we were successful in the end. Victory without cost has little worth. I just think of what that poor little boy went through. No, I don't want to glorify what happened there. Then who will learn from these events? I would think on it some more were I you. Yeah, Morrigan is witty. That's why I can't quit her. Yes. Okay, book. And a chest that no one's looking, so I'll take it. And it's literally empty. That's... Okay. Thanks for making me do that. Not much going on in this tavern. Allow me. I could do that for you. Okay. Ah! What? Oh, okay. That was very dramatic, considering that wasn't even me that leveled up. It was Alistair. Hey! What are you doing? Uh... Cleaning. This is Lady Sophie's room. Okay. Two side. Is that? I mean, I assume that's two gold, right? I'm not going to do that. I will use super talking powers. You're right. She has this coming. Just be quick. I don't Piggy want bam. coming in on you. Anyway, as I was saying, that was very dramatic music considering the fact that Alistair leveled up from reading a book. Allow me. I could do that for you. This is why I'm glad I added Leilana to the party. What did I just get? I don't know. I'll look at it later. Should be something valuable. I don't think that's much of anything. 
Heavy chainmail boots. All right, well, that was Sophie's guard who we saw before, whatever, whoever Sophie is. Oh, okay, can I go in this door? No, I cannot. Well, I think the only other thing I can do is try to break into this guy's chest, which... I'll try it, and if it starts a fight, I'm just going to reload, because I don't really have any burning desire to do this, but if it's free stuff, I'll do it. Allow me. I could do that for you. Oh. Well, it seems like I can do it. That's too real, J. Will. Seems like I can't open the chest without anyone complaining. I just have to have the rogue open it so she doesn't destroy everything inside of it. Tell me. Oh, even she couldn't open it. She had to break it. Shit. Wow, that's wild, because, I mean, her dexterity is not super, super duper high, but it's very high, and she has maximum lockpicking. Let's see if we can get this without it breaking. All right, whatever. It's fine. We probably don't need two of the same sword anyway. Well, if I can do that without it... This is this is weird, by the way, that nothing happened here. Um, with these pirates. Well, if I can do that, if I can open that chest without anyone caring, maybe I can open the chest in the marketplace without anyone caring. All right, Alistair leveled up. And it made a dramatic noise. Yeah, if you read a book, it's like 50 experience. It's very, very little, but obviously it kind of adds up. Strength 38. That's what he needs for his armor, right? Yeah. All right, so he doesn't need... I don't think he needs more strength. I think now nah, we just go... I mean, we could go Constitution, but I think Dexterity is better, from what I've read. Better just not to be hit in the first place. Because he's going to draw aggro. It's not like they're not going to attack him. So if they constantly attack him and constantly miss, that's the best possible scenario. Better even than them. Beating up on him. Hey, everyone get... Oh! He needs cunning. Okay. And what can he get? Plus 20 to mental resistance. Sounds pretty good. Death blow! When someone wants to kill you, not because of who you are, but for different reasons, altogether, death blow. It's pretty good. The only thing being that he doesn't do damage, he just stands there and gets hit. What about these? Ooh, dexterity. Oh, I remember this one. It didn't sound too good. Shield wall. Nah, 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 nah. Let's do 
this. Okay. So now... Let's... Let's see if... Opening these chests is something we're allowed to do. Key required. Okay. Scale boots. This is the key. I just walked in a circle, right? No. Right away. Okay, both these need a key. Ooh, okay, let's see if I can craft some things. And Morgan, what about you? Ooh, okay. I'll make some injury kits. That sounds good. Oop. I can only make one. And I can make a lesser or a bigger. Uh, let's make biggers. That's probably more cost efficient. I can buy the lessers. Door of a blood mage's relative. Well. Alright, I was going to say before I talk to this guy, but you know what, fuck it. Let's just talk to him. What, whatever happens, your happens. Attention elsewhere. My business does not concern you. Sure. Thank you and farewell. I'm guessing there may possibly be more to that. Oh, golly. So, a door, a blood mage's relative is not happy to see me. Yes, my friend. Very mysterious, this area over here with a guy who doesn't say anything in the door where when you touch it, all that happens is the spell gets cast another one quest updated I just did something Go to the remaining homes of accused blood rel mage relatives in dead room. Select the front door of each home to smear a vial of goat's blood on it. Wow. This is gross. Why did I agree to do this? This is some Egyptian shit. Once all four homes are marked, return to the collective for your reward. Okay, okay, whatever. I did it. Do you have any tales of the wild? None of the sort you like. No princesses in tall towers, or knights throwing themselves at whole armies. That's not all I like. Do you want tales of the chastened wilders, who dwell in the marsh? Do you want to hear of the slow deaths they inflict on their enemies? Perhaps a tale of the poisonous creatures of the wilds that lay their eggs on your skin so their young may eat you alive when hatched? Or a tale of my mother's marsh cuisine? That, in my opinion, is the most terrifying of all my tales. Uh, no. I don't want to hear about those things. Then I have no tales for you. Just don't get into conversation with Morgan, because she is undefeated. 
I should mix up the party so I get more different conversations. I just, I like this party a lot, though. Yes. Okay, this is another side quest that I didn't know I had. All right, let me take a look. I feared this day would come. Whatever. It's side quest for me. I guess your husband died or whatever. That's a real shame. What? Why is this guy teleporting? Look at this kid. What is... What? I know this game is... Old, but... Somebody put this kid away. He's a... That's what? my sister's house. I'm almost sure of it. This is... Yes, this is the right address. She could be inside. Could we go and see? <laughs> we don't have time for this. We don't have time to go in the house. We're obviously extremely busy. Bar hopping. Will she even know who I am? Does she even know I exist? My sister. That sounds very strange. Sister. Sister. Hmm. Oh, now I'm babbling. Maybe we should go. Let's go. Let, let's just go. I mean, it didn't even occur to me until just now, but his, you know, because he is potentially the heir to the throne, his sister's important. His sister's presumably also in the line of succession. Well, unless she's a half-sister and the father is not the former king, then she kind of wouldn't be anything. Uh, hello? Hey, you have linens to wash? I charge three bits on a bundle. You won't find better. And don't trust what that Natalia woman tells you either. She's foreign and she'll rob you blind. Okay, so um, your sister's a racist. Good start. Uh, my name's Alistair. I'm... Well, this may sound sort of strange, but... Are you called Anna? If so, I suppose I'm your brother. My what? I am Goldana, yes. How do you know my name? What kind of tomfoolery are you folk up to? All kinds of tomfoolery. Shenanigans. Skullduggery. Look, our mother, she worked as a servant in Redcliffe Castle a long time ago before she died. Do you know about that? She... You! I knew it! They told me you was dead. They told me the babe was dead along with mother, but I knew they was lying. They told you I was dead? Who? Who told you that? Them's at the castle. I told them the babe was the king's and they said he was dead. This woman needs a uh, to shut my mouth and sent me my on my fair way. lady speech lessons. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The babe didn't die. I'm him. I'm your brother. <laughs> For all the good it does me. You killed mother, you did. And I've had to scrape by all this time. That coin didn't last long, and when I went back, they ran me off. Yeah, let's try to salvage this. And who in the Maker's name are you? Some elf to follow him about and carry his riches for him? Hey, don't speak to him that way. He's my friend. And a Grey Warden, just like me. Oh, I see. A prince and a Grey Warden, too. Well, who am I to think poorly of someone so high and mighty compared to me? I don't know you, boy. Your royal father forced himself on my mother and took her away from me. And what do I got to show for it? Nothing. They tricked me good. I should have told everyone. I got five mouths to feed. And unless you can help with that, I got less than no use for you. I... I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Wow. I mean, I understand why this woman is angry, but she is destroying Alistair's world right now. This was his one dream. His entire life wanted to be his sister, and this is what happens. Let's see if we can use super magic talking powers to fix this. Well, so he's found it. I'm his sister. But what are you to me, boy? 
except the one who took my mother away, hmm? You think I wished her dead? I never wanted that. I didn't have the life you think I did, Goldana. I suppose not. A bastard is still a bastard, isn't he? But Man, you are rude. Brother or no, I've got five mouths to feed and no time to spare until they are. And let me promise you this, Goldana. I'll do whatever I can, speak to whomever I have to, to ensure you and your children are taken care of. Hmm, that sounds all well and fine. But you'll have to forgive me if I don't exactly hold my breath. You have my promise. I can't give you more than that. I... Let's go. I want to go. Goodbye, sister. Wow, that's so sad. Well, and this this kid is still not teleporting. What I expected, to put it lightly. I lived up to my promise, I suppose, but this is the family I've been wondering about all my life? I can't believe it. I, I guess I was expecting her to accept me without question. Isn't that what family is supposed to do? I, I feel like a complete idiot. Uh, poor Alistair. He, he, he handled that really well. He said the right things. He was a real mensch. I have four answers that insult him and one answer that doesn't. That's an interesting choice. Yes, I'm sorry too. I guess I should have known better. Let's just go. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Wow, that's that's really sad. And this is Oh, is this Wade's Emporium? Think of this. Heron? Chris Heron, the former point guard for Welcome, friends. Welcome to uh, who Wade's was it? Emporium. We have the finest armors in Denerum, maybe in all of Ferelden. How may we assist you? Tell me about... Uh, let's start off with the city. The city is full to bursting. With people from the country coming, trade is thriving. Especially those that deal in weapons and armor. Master Wade is especially in demand. I don't trust this guy. He talks about himself in the third person that he's got like a used car salesman kind of. He's he's coming on very strong. You're obviously not from around here. Wade is possibly the most brilliant armorsmith in all of Ferelden. That's not true, Heren. The dwarves of Orzammar make the Oh, he's not he's around. not Wade himself, These okay. Piles of rust droppings you force me to make are worthless compared to their work. You never let me have the time, the materials to make something special. Uh, materials. Customers expect their armor in a timely fashion, not years late like the last time. That happened once, just once, and you never let it drop. I am Wade owns the Emporium, but without expert assistance and, well, prodding, let's just say the Emporium has improved substantially with our partnership. But I do miss the good old days. I could really take my time to make quality. Oh, by all means, you can return to them. And to the gruel you used to fancy. No, no. Sorry, Herin. They have like a different writer do this town. I feel like suddenly I'm in a different movie. Certainly. This stuff doesn't look that great at all, actually. See, I keep getting helmets that are like tier 5, tier 6 instead of tier 1, and they theoretically should be better, but then when I look at them, they don't really look that much better. 
Not enough to justify like me spending money on it. Since every well, you are an armor, so that's probably all you have. I mean, I didn't like scrutinize this super closely, but I feel like. I don't feel like I could have used any of that. Friend, the bloody customers are bothering me again. What do I pay you for, anyhow? Damn. Sorry, sorry. Wade is a genius. Truly, you will be astonished by his work. Uh, but he doesn't deal with customers. If you need anything, please ask me. And tell him I don't want anyone looking over my shoulders either. I'm thinking, blast it all. Uh, truly sorry, sire. Dude, I looked at your stuff. It was crap. I didn't want any of it. You have, have wasted my time. And you don't deserve to be a separate area that loads in separately. That's my opinion. All right. Can we do any of our five million side quests? Chantry. Friends were wondering. <laughs> Body bag. Yeah, that sounds good. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, I think I need to turn in the goat's blood smearing Let's quest. Maybe it's on over. As you like. I guess I need to smear more blood. Cool. All right. And here we have someone and the body bag. He came at me. He came at me. It's not my fault. Why did he come at me? All right. Yeah, they got to learn not to mess with me, us, right? I mean, he's he's just going to disappear, right? I guess this was one of my side quests. Okay. Dump site. This may not have been the most well thought out criminal. uh plot of all time look where their look where their body bag was it was like i was supposed to dump it like literally right down the street from where i found it This is a oh, I'm supposed to dump it down the well. Oh well, I'm sure no one, no one, no one would notice me doing this, surely. I shall. How do I even get involved in this? I've been playing like a very good character. Why am I dumping bodies? All right, whatever that was. Okay, let me talk to these friggin' people. I'm here. They're probably gonna try to arrest me. Let's see. In the name of Andraste, Bride of the Maker, be welcome in this house. While the cathedral is closed, if you need to make wedding or funeral arrangements, you'll have to talk to Sister Oma. Did someone die? I remember a funeral. King Kaelin died, remember? Along with most of the army at Ostagar? Make a guide them all. 
Oh, that's right. The Templars are mad at me. It's a city guard that would possibly be mad at me. They're having a funeral for Caitlin. Okay. That which you fear, living in the shadow of death alone. This guy looks too I much like Irving. They need to it mix it up a bit. A cloud passing before the sun. The death toll at Ostagar was staggering. We've had a funeral every day for a lost son or daughter of Denerim, and we've many more yet to hold. Oh, so it may not have been the king's particular funeral. They just are constantly having funerals. Are they singing the chant now? It's a funeral, isn't it? He should have retired to Valroyo years ago, but he wanted to stay and serve the remainder of his days in his homeland. It's the lyrium that does this. Right. There have been references to this. They haven't gone into how exactly it works much, but there's reference to the fact that the lyrium, which both the mages take for spellcasting and the Templars take... I forget why, but it's addictive and it messes you up. He wouldn't be a Templar anymore. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter. He doesn't forget who he is, even if he can't remember anything else. May the light of the Maker guide your steps. Okay, well, I thought that was going to lead me to go somewhere else, but it actually didn't. Goldana's house did it. Wade's Emporium did it. I wonder what would happen if I went back to Goldana's house. Tavern did it. Probably nothing good, but let's do it. Go straight and make a left. All men are the work of our maker's hands. From the lowest slaves to the highest Oh, whoop. I went the wrong way. Go up and make a right. Oh, no, nope. It was here. And no, I cannot go in it again. Okay. So I guess the one place I haven't been is Brother Jenna TV's home. I don't know what that is, but okay. Stop moving. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a book, we have a guy, we have a couple of doors. All right, book taken care of. Who's the guy? Yes, what are you doing here? I have no idea. Who are you? It doesn't feel so good when the tables get My turned, name does is it? Waylon. I'm the assistant of the scholar Brother Genitivi. This is his house. Who is he? I totally know. I just want to know if you know. I gotta figure out how to. I gotta He's fix an my scholar and researcher mouse. who serves the great chantry. When okay. you first came in, I was was hoping that you had news of Brother Genitivi. Wishful thinking, it seems. I haven't seen Brother Genitivi in weeks. He said no word. It's so unlike him. I'm afraid something has happened. Genitivi's research into the urn may have led. Okay, he's researching the urn. Okay, so I. I want to find this guy. Perhaps the urn has been lost for a reason. I pray for Genitivi's safety, but hope to win the missing. passing day. 
I, I tried to send help, but some knights came from Redcliffe looking for him not long ago. I sent them after Genitivi, and they too have disappeared. Hmm. Now, don't ask me where they went. You'll go after them. And what if ill luck should befall you too? This search is a curse on all of us. Some things Just are not tell me. To Am I going to have to I use super talking now. powers on you? <laughs> I have that option number four. Let's do number two. That might be convincing. So be it. All he said before he left was that he would be staying at an inn near Lake Kalinhard, investigating something in that area. I don't know. All I discovered from going through his research was that he was staying at the inn. Ooh, I've never had this op I've never had this option before. This apparently is a conversation option that I have because my cunning is high. I've never seen that. That's cool. I wonder if there are other ability scores that give you more conversation options. Yes, of course he told me, but I also went through his things to see if I could find other clues to his whereabouts. My cunning isn't that high, by the way. It's only 16, I'm pretty sure. But now I can intimidate. That's n not true. I told you everything I know. Brother Jimmy TV told us, t told me about the inn and that's all. Us? I mean me. There is no us. Bah! Why do I bah! keep up this charade? I gave you a chance to turn aside and forget you ever heard of Genitivi and the Urn. Um, but you, you didn't count on my... Now it has come to this. And Is he going to attack? Me, He's going to attack me. This in your name. What exactly just happened? He said a bunch of weird cryptic shit and then he attacked me. One on five, presumably, unless someone else is going to come in here. He, he can't be attacking me to protect me. All right, so this brother... All right, I bet this brother Genitivi is not a researcher who's doing... Who's looking for the certain of the goodness of his own heart. He must be... He must be a bad guy. Well, whatever. How about Mind Blast will stun you? You have forced my hand. Weird decision by that guy. I mean, he was a mage. He may have been powerful, but I think he got one spell off before we just completely murdered him. As you wish. On the worship of Dre. Okay. Okay. That sounded like what I just found is a book that you're not supposed to have. And what weird shit's in this book? The political structure of the Chantry, okay. And what's in here? Steel symbol of Andraste. It's for Liliana and Genitivi's research. The village of Haven in the Frostbacks. All right, well, oh, that would have been a bad thing to miss. Right away. The body of the real, oh. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. So this could be, a, this Brother Jan TV could conceivably still be a good guy. 
maybe someone was impersonating. Someone killed him for their own reasons. Let me see what the codex says, because I'm a little... Brother Jenna TV's research suggests the village. Yeah, I know that. So I changed my mind. I think we're actually supposed to trust this Jenna TV. But someone, I guess, was impersonating Waylon, and I don't know, maybe they were waiting to come back, waiting for him to come back so they could, wait for Jenna TV to come back so they could kill him. Something like that. All right, so the plot thickens if I wanted to go to another town. The only thing is I have 15 missions to do in this town. Friends of Red Jenny. All right, let's do that. What is this? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Don't do that. Wonders of Theta. So oh, I haven't been here. Yes, make it quick. Oh, didn't I? Stretch. I think I just. Just Let's talk to a very similar guy, I, I guess, not it. the same. I gave that man the best seven weeks of my life. Well, I guess he won't have me to push around anymore. <laughs> All right, that was one of those major collective quests that I don't pay much attention to. Just yes, when you run into course. people, you can... Geography... Slippers. Hmm. I have to read that one to see what she's talking about. That's interesting. They don't usually That's comment it. on the content of the codex entries. All right. Why am I here? Welcome to the wonders of Thedas. We carry items crafted by the circle as well as a variety of antiquities. Is there anything you would like to see? Okay. Lyrian potions, those are expensive. Lesser Lyrian potions, I guess I can afford. Incense of awareness. That doesn't sound that great. Recipes. Well, if I were higher level, some of this stuff would be good. A gift for Logan. Whoa. Whoa. Can Logan join my party? That would be friggin' wild, and it doesn't make any sense either. Get it? It's cheap. Wow. What what do we make of that? Manuals for Spirit Healer. Well, I'll have to try to remember this is where that is. Can't nearly afford it, but one day I am probably going to want that. Uh, okay, runes. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, 
Oh, I guess all my ruins are on my weapons, so I can't actually see what I have. I would have to unequip them. Wait, why do these do the same thing? And they're one sixteen gold and the other's four. Five percent chance to paralyze. Five percent chance to paralyze. That's very weird. You know what? Maybe they just pulled a scam on me. Maybe they are trying to make this sound like more of a bargain than it is by making it the same price as something that's way more expensive. But you talked me into it. I'm going to get it. That was a lot of money, too. It's done. But that's good. I may give that to Leilana because she's got two daggers. She's making a lot of attacks. So if everyone has a 5% chance to paralyze, that should be pretty good. Warehouse. Is this the Red Jenny whatever, whatever? Chess, okay. Mace, I'll never use that. Leather boots. Don't sound good at all. What is this? Small shield, also crap. Here's a guy. Okay, this is. I will is... take the blame for this one. This was bad from the start. No way he was here to deal. So apparently, I have some sort of side quest where. I won't take the blame for this one. This was bad I... from the. Thanks. I am sticking bo... around to see how this turns out. I dump bodies for people. This is quite disturbing, and I also feel like I'm not going to get away with this, especially if it. It's... Especially if I have to put it down the well again. And by the way, should you be putting dead bodies in people's drinking water? I'm not a doctor. I'll do it. Maybe I should look at my side quests before taking them, but let's face it, I would take them anyway because they're side quests. Red Jenny. Yeah, people are like this. Let's not ask them questions. Let's just do the job. Good enough. Don't need to know. Just give me the money. Is there a way to find out how much I have? How much money? I guess it'd be an inventory if it was any if it was anywhere, right? Oh. Oh, so that was that was a lot of money. That may have been like three and a half, something like that. That was pretty worthwhile. Sarah, I did. Tanya, I don't remember. It'd be nice if it told you what you did and what you didn't. 20 health pulled. I can... Oh, 20 health. Not the lesser, but the regular. I could maybe do it eventually. I'm not gonna... Make a big deal out of it. Whoop. No, I meant... <laughs> oh, Leilana. Ooh, Elvin Elliot itch. Has that been here the whole time and I just never saw it? I 
Yeah, let's go there. Let's see how the elves live. I'm sure it's super great. But this will really be our first time being involved with the elves. Oh, what is this? Don't believe the lies. Friends of the Grey Wardens is simple. Oh, that's good. The hidden pearl holds the key to resistance. The griffins will rise again. I've not heard anything about griffins. I guess it has something to do with the Grey Wardens. That's cool. Maybe it's our symbol. Ideally, we ride them. That would be way more cool. Can I go this way? Can I talk to this guard? How about I just go this way and don't talk to the I guard? Shall. By order of the new Earl of Denerim, no one is to enter the alienage. I kind of figured that might happen. There's been an elven uprising. Nifeers even have the gall to attack the Owl's only son. Look who you're blood. talking to. With a whole have Urian a little... Family dead, even if you're going to be Howard rude, Amaranth have a little sense. All of First thing he did was lead a purge of the alienage. It's a mess in there. When things are put back in order, the gates will be reopened. Now on your way. That probably means I can't get through. The alienage is closed. Be on your way. It's done. The alienage is closed. Be on your way. Okay, so I can't do that. I hear the regent is saying that any band that doesn't do what he tells them is going to get trounced. I, don't I heard that. that. I heard it plain as day. They have to fall in line and fight the dark spawn, or he'll it's, make an example. That's, the that's exactly what the bartender said. It don't sound very Ferelden at all, if you ask me. <laughs> You heard about all those mages in Lake Kalanhard. They up and turned into a pack of demons. No. Did the Templars kill them all, at least? Nope. I guess they got better. More likely working with the Darkspawn to take us over. Uh, I don't even want to think about it. These people have some strange ideas. Alright, what do you got? Are you barking for a reason? Oh! Hey! Good boy! What is it? 27 copper? Okay, uh, great. Good boy. So, why don't their mages just whip up a spell and make those darkspawn go away? Because they're damned useless, that's why. Ooh, I somehow missed this guy. He's or he's orange. Look at this. Another visitor, the Maestro. Enjoy browsing my wares. Ooh, you're buff as hell. What's your story? Are you a blacksmith? Master Trader Ignacio, at your service. Oh, I thought those, <laughs> I thought those, thought those were veins on his arms. Along the seaways. We have furniture, silks, carvings, and much more. Cesar handles the trade stock. I handle other affairs. No, I am not. I am a trader at heart. Oh, he's My from the same place as Zevran. But I was born past the waking sea in Antiva. It has been many, many years since I have seen her. But the road oh, is a better mistress than my home city ever was. You really get everyone's life story in this game. On the docks of Rialto, life is cheap. As cheap as the dockside ale and the soiled horse. You can live a longer life out here. And a wise man can make a comfortable fortune in time. All right, I don't want to talk this guy out of wanting to live here. Do you need any help? 
which is the way to say, are you a quest giver, even though I um, have no... No, hmm. not yet. Perhaps one day. I'm surprised, because usually when you have that option, it's because they do need help. All right, let's hear some fucking stories. It has been many, many years since I have seen her. But the road is a better... Ah, we, we know. Yeah, bye. Luck be to you, Warden. I'm disappointed. You were orange. How dare you. City... City map. Is this it? Am I just supposed to move on to the urn at this point? I kind of thought I'd be hanging around here a little longer. I mean, it's fine. Oh, well, I didn't finish the... I really don't want to spend freaking forever looking at every door in this place. But there aren't that many, so I guess I'll... I'll spend like one minute doing this. I hear there isn't even really any dark spawn down south. It's all Grey Warden work. They're a devious lot, that's for sure. You guys are idiots. Oh wait, where where did that guy who was like I'm a sergeant and I want you to go beat these people up but don't kill them? Where was that supposed to happen? Back alleys, is that it? See you again. Now, am I dump? Am I dumping this body in the well, or am I bringing it somewhere else? All men are the work of our maker's hand. I am. Not surprised that Alistair hasn't lodged any objection to the fact that we're, uh, or even Leilado, who used to do this kind of shit, but quit, has lodged any objection to the fact that we're dumping bodies for people. Stop correcting me. I know the chant like the back of my hat. I feel like that's everything I know how to do right now. Message for you, my lord. Who? What? Good? <laughs> I like these options. More things to deliver. Goodbye. And that's not the kid who the dog found, was it? Anonymous letter.
Which one was it? Uh, Blackstone. All right, this is another side quest. I don't really care about that. Oh wait, no. If you're interested in working with the Antivan crows, you should head to one of the back rooms of the Nodnobles. All right, so I can become even more of a can even become more of a criminal thug than I already am. Going the wrong way. But all right, those must have been those pirate dudes. The Nod Noble Tavern is just keep going all the way and make a left. Okay. How do I always go the wrong way? It's unbelievable. Maybe there are other areas of the city because it feels like I'm done here, but I have so many more quests that involve being here. I'm a Crimson Ore. Which way <laughs> you look at or we'll rip your damned eyes out and piss in your skull. Another round for me, Ben. <laughs> I really hope I get to work with these guys because I'm digging their vibe. But so far, all they've done is be in here and be like, we are, we're the Crimson Oars. You hear about the note? Maybe we have some things we can talk about. Uh you are of great interest. Okay, this is the dude I just talked to. I just talked to a few minutes ago, allegedly a merchant. That's a very direct question. On the whole, I don't like direct questions. For the sake of this if discussion, if you want, if you want a battle, we can. Who do you blame for a death? The sword or the swordsman? Crows are swords, instruments used by someone else for their own reasons. So one of our swords is hired out. He and his employees will do mm, their job. It's a shame I don't have Zebra in the party. Time, this would but probably be a lot more interesting. All have no bias. Ferelden is a busy place. Blight, civil war, other mayhem. Lots of people not getting along. Sometimes they really don't get along. Maybe want to do something about it. The people that handle that sort of thing can get real busy. It takes time to do a good job. Pride in your work and all. But customers have expectations. Not many people to turn to if you're short-staffed in some... Could you work. get to the point to understand so, that you're... Someone that's crossed our path and lived... And... Work. A criminal Maybe who doesn't want to go on the record. Make some coin. Everyone wins. From a role-playing perspective, I totally should not be doing this. It makes no sense. I'm not that kind of character. It doesn't, uh... I'm obviously far more preoccupied with other more important things, but these are side quests, so I'm going to do them. I hand you a scroll. You read it, you learn about someone interesting. If you find out something happens to him, something unfortunate, then if we talk again, I give you money for letting me know. You don't like what's on the scroll, don't do anything. 
Maybe he has an accident and someone else tells me all about it. All right. Maybe we can get something out of this. That's actually useful besides money, which I guess is useful. That I cannot do. One master has a contract on you. But if you help us out, maybe if that master asks for help, he'll just get silence. Yes? Okay, well, this guy doesn't like to answer questions. Maybe he's serious about that. I don't. I honestly don't know whether to trust his word that uh, he would cut us a break if we did this for him. Yeah, let's do number two. Let's just see. You can never be too careful. Can you blame someone for being circumspect? All right. There you go. Makes for fine reading. If that's all, luck be to you. Contract for Paydon, okay. I don't see where that quest is. Oh, this is completed quest. All right, I don't know where this is, this weather. I shall. I'm a little confused by what's going on here, but I guess maybe what the game wants me to do is go look for the urn, and then when I come back, I'll get to see more of Denerim, because it definitely feels like there should be more of Denerim, but there just isn't. So maybe there will be later. Oh, I'm sorry, I went the wrong way. Okay, so yeah, there certainly is more to this city. This city is like a, this city is like a world map unto itself. Oh, okay. All right, this makes way more sense now. Because I was like, I have 10 more quests to do here, and the, it's obviously not where they can be done. Dark Alley, so that's where that sergeant's quest is okay now i understand how this works that's all well and good but you know what i'm just gonna camp for it i can't leave how do i leave no no how do i actually leave the city I can't? I want to camp. Maybe I'm missing it again. Can't go there. Can't go there. Can't go there. Oh, there's two back alleys. The only is I can't go. Pearl. I don't think, I don't remember having a reason to go here. I guess, I, oh, I can't. I 
can't do it. What? What is wrong? Okay, I don't know what that was about. I would just like to be able to leave the city, because what if I want to go to camp? All right, you are hooded courier. Tell your captain that our deal is now ironclad. There's so much going on with these three different lines of side quests that I don't read. I just pick them up and then something happens relating to them and I have no idea what, what people are talking to me about. It's just this freaking game. That's I love it, but... Sent you, right? Glad he hasn't forgotten about us. The mercenaries are right there. If you're here about other things, just speak up. I mean, I love the game, but it's so long, and if I took the time to read every bit of text it gave me, it would be twice as long as Welcome it already is. to the Pearl. I'm Sanga, the proprietor. Have a seat. Get comfortable. And tell me what you need. Every one of my people here is a skilled craftsman, and don't let anyone tell you different. You'll have to go one at a time, I'm afraid. Our rooms aren't quite big enough to share between so many. But we can discuss that in a moment. So what would you like me to show you? The men or the women? Or some or both, if you prefer. Well, here's the thing. I feel like Morrigan, there's sort of two different ways she could take it. She could take it in a very liberated way as being just like, yeah, sure, people are, we're all animals. Do what you want, it doesn't affect me. Or she could really dislike it and she could be very vindictive and jealous. So, I mean... Let's not do it. I'm curious... What would happen? I mean, I don't doubt this game Don't would show games, it. Isabella. We want our money. Someone. What is this? A fight just broke out. He's a push. I can't fight, can I? I can't actually fight, can I? I'm not in combat. I'm not going to be able to cast spells on them, right? Maybe I can. No. Yeah, I can't cast spells because it's not combat. Unless... Yeah, I mean, I can cast, like, certain spells and not others, I think. Like, Glyph of Paralysis I can cast because that's not a quote-unquote combat spell. But I can't cast things like uh, Winter's Grasp because that is a combat spell. Yes? Cannot steal in com Is this combat or not? He's too good. Be off with you now, and be glad I only took from you your gold. <laughs> Fools. All right, I think that was a... 
That was like a cutscene that looked like combat. Ah, a Grey Warden. And I had heard that all the Ferelden Wardens were killed or exiled. Oh, from this I place. want you on my team, baby. Oh, don't look so surprised. I've seen many of your kind in my journeys, and there is always something odd about you. Huh. Strong hands. Hmm. Could I entice you to Oh, she's a pirate. She must be affiliated with those other guys. I could use those strong hands at my helm. All right. Now now you're turning me off. You seem good because you were some kind of great fighter. Maybe a better version of Leilana, but don't push it. I assume you saw that little drama. None of these poor brutes has ever proven a match for me. They are too clumsy and predictable. I fight with quickness and wit rather than with brute force and strength. I call myself a duelist because I honed my skills in duels with warriors I encountered over the years. Okay, so she teaches duelist, which is a rogue thing. <laughs> An unusual request, coming from a fearsome slayer of Darkspawn. I am flattered that you wish to learn from me, sweet thing. But I have watched you, and you seem to lack a particular race that is required. You are accustomed to doing battle a certain way, yes? I can teach you some basics. Perhaps you can pass it on to someone who might be interested in what I have okay, to offer. Okay, that's good. I do, however, wish to get to know my potential student better. So we shall call for a drink, and you will honor me with a game. What game? Have you ever played Wicked Grace? It is easy to learn, but difficult to master. Oh, is this some Gwent shit? your opponent's moves as carefully as your own. Before we start, the cards must be shuffled. Shall I, or would you like to? You know what? Let me do it, because you're at the Federer. Good. Go ahead, then. Ooh, maybe I should just cut them. Nah, whatever. Are you I guess, shuff yet? guess shuffling was difficult to animate. Five cards each to start with, and made the cleverest player win. Ah, oh, the night of dawn. Just what I wanted. I don't know how to play this game. I shall draw another card, and you may draw another too, if you wish. Well, I guess I don't have to make decisions. Ha! Huh. The Angel of Death card. The game is over. If we it must show our hand. Butcher! Two circles, Angel of Death! A song. Not bad. But the rest of your hand is rather pitiable. I have three angels. Fortitude, truth, and charity. And the Night of Dawn. I win. <sighs> Still undefeated after all these years. Will I never meet my match? What just happened? Fuck it. Play again. I, I want to know ah, what we're sports. even Another doing. Game, then. Before we start, the cards must be shuffled. Shall I or would you like to? Good. Go ahead, then. Are you done yet? Five cards each to start with. And may the cleverest player win. It looks like the deck is being kind to me today. Uh. I have a good feeling about this game. Ha! Huh. The Angel of Death card. I wish I could at least pretend over. to play so I we could figure out what the hands. game even oh, is. Dear. Is that what you have? Do you need me to go through the rules again? You didn't go I through the rules the first knights, time. Roses, ages, sacrifice, and wisdom. It beats your hand. Still undefeated after all these years. Will I never meet my match? What? What is happening right now? Not so fast, sweet thing. I'm not sure I know you yet. Come. Another game? Ah, oh, you're a good sport. Another game then. Before we start, the cards must be shuffled. Shall I, or would you like to? Very well. 
Oh, wow, I can't believe I liked be you. Five cards each to start with, and may the cleverest player win. Ah, the night of dawn. Just what I wanted. See if I was if I was actually making decisions, and I could see how the game worked. Down, I, I could see I could maybe try to figure out how she's cheating. Huh. The Angel of Death card. The game is over. We must show our hands. Ah, quite a good hand, sweet thing. Perhaps enough to best a lesser player. Serpents of deceit and avarice, songs of temerity and mercy. Not a great hand, but I still win. <sighs> still undefeated after all these years. Will I never meet my match? Dude. I tried three different ways. Um, I shuffle. I just cut and you shuffle. And you want to keep going. I guess I need to pick... Well, what happens if I pick this? Um, just a moment. Come here, please. Oh, this, Leilana knows this how this game works. Cheating. Do you realize it? All right, Leilana. I think she has an ulterior motive. She wants to know if you're smart enough to be a duelist. And this is her way of finding out. I... I think we can outsmart her together. I can help you. Okay, yeah, you probably have some experience well, with this will stuff. You play again? Stop whispering over there. Ah, oh, you're a good sport. Another game then. Before we start, the cards must be shuffled. Shall I or would you like to? Okay. Good. Go ahead then. Are you done yet? Five cards each to start with, and may the cleverest player win. Ah, oh, the night of dawn. Just Leilana, save me. Ha! Huh. The angel of death card. The game is over. We must show our hands. And I have songs of twilight and autumn. Serpents of decay and sadness. Uh. Hmm. What am I supposed to do here? The knights of compassion and mercy. They are only just better than mine, but better nonetheless. Congratulations. You have proven yourself quick and resourceful, and I would be honored to pass my skills on to you. Except for the part where I'm not a rogue. I guess now I can teach like a lot of these things. It's kind of weird. I mean, I'm glad it lets me do it. Come. We will need some space for this. All right. That was all kind of strange. Yes, of course. How do I get into this room? How do I get here? Okay, yeah, she she doesn't know either. Ooh, so many people. And this guy's got us something. Turn around and walk, stranger. This affair is for white falcons only. Who or what are the... Uh, bleh. Who or what are the white falcons was exactly We're what I was the thinking. toughest, meanest, and loudest mercenary band from the free marches. Great. If you haven't heard of us yet, you will soon. Now get out. Am I supposed to... Are these the guys? These are probably the guys who the sergeant told me to get rid of. Maybe I can talk them out of it? Get a load of this guard. You're telling us what to do? What is, what is this guy in the back doing? Yep. Yeah. 
You... you aren't no common god. You're with all how, aren't you? Men, no, let's clear out. I'm no, not. We don't want to get on Hurricane's bad side, do we? Tell Carlon I owe him one. Problem solved with the magic of talking, as always. It's so good. All right, go back to that sergeant. So much nicer. So much nicer to not have to do these fights. And I feel better about myself, even though, um, by this point, a hardened criminal doing criminal shit for no reason. What's in here? I'll do it. Just open up random doors in a brothel. That can't possibly go. I do not see anything, okay? What about here? It's locked. That's a good sign. Oh. I believe it was this. I forgot that's why I'm fucking here in the first place. When find about this Grey Warden support group, which is great. Another Grey Warden supporter. Not just a supporter, Payton. That's a Grey Warden. He's the one Arl Howe is looking for. Our trap landed a Warden. You've got one chance to surrender. Ooh, that guy looks like a Kunari. Kunari? They're powerful. But can super talking work yet again? For what it's worth, I believe you. Not that I particularly care. <laughs> We're not common gods. Yeah, people. that would have been that would have been pretty lame elite. if I could talk my way out of this one. Shavra, Tenant, and Javi, let's kill ourselves a warden. Okay, this is probably gonna be a tough battle that I should have saved before. Let's mind blast. Very well. Winter's grasp. Say that guy. Be done. Ooh, I can mind blast again. doing pretty well let's try to get this woman I guess Very well. she resisted damn it oh that was a big hit Oh, someone's... Oh, she's still up. I'm sorry. I thought she was done. Okay, so that also was the guy who... The Antiven Crows told me to kill. Yeah. So that works out well that they told me to kill somebody who was trying to kill me. 
somehow I doubt that all their future missions for me will be that straightforward. But that was good, because that was really my first... That was my first fight since I got back to the main game, and I had sort of forgotten what I was doing. My Kachantri Templars, whoever saved me! I didn't mean to kill him! Can you make this go away? Get it another body. Get another oh, body I, back. I could have handled it. Thanks. I think I need to go hide somewhere. I think they need a filtration system is what I think. Dumping all these bodies in the well. Have I been here? I think so. I think I came from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost missed a chest. Leilana. All is well. Mm -hmm. All right, that looks like everything I can do in here. I still wonder how I get around to this other. Did I miss a door? Let's talk to her again, just out of curiosity. Welcome back. What can I get for you, honey? Fuck it, we're doing it. Wait here. Now, before you choose one, let me remind you of the guild rules. You Is see this really going to be a... If you don't Something I have nice to make a decision people, about. These boys will have words with you. We're really going this far with this. 40 silver. I'm getting tired of throwing soldiers off the pier for forgetting their coin. We're a craft hall, not a public charity. So, shall I let you get acquainted? Uh, let's try haggling. This seems like a great idea. Make it 30 and we have a deal. I'm sure the women will appreciate the fact that I haggled 50% off the price. Go ahead and choose then. I'm starting to feel bad. I hope that this, like, I get, like, I hope there's a story purpose to this. Like, one of these people knows something. Right this way. What? I thought... Hey, sexy. Do you want to take a look at me ditties? I thought that when uh, she said talk to them and get to know them better, I actually thought that she meant it. I didn't think I was going to be with the first person who I walked up to. Did I just make a huge mistake? Did I just get all my shit stolen? Nah, no, we're back. That was not worth 30 silver. Yes, what? Is it customary where you're from to give complete strangers questioning looks? They call me Casavir. I'm first mate on Captain Isabella's ship. More than this, you do not need to know. Uh, okay. I guess I was supposed to talk to this guy first, because I know all this already. You are surprised. Isabella is no ordinary woman. Isabella commands the crew on the Siren's Call. She is a remarkable woman, and as you saw, quite formidable. She calls herself a duelist. But you cannot pay me enough to do her. I'm not so stupid as those two. Yeah, I guess let's find out why they were fighting. It scarcely seems a matter of They wanted money back. Some of them never learn. 
If Isabella consents to play a game with you, it's an honor. You do not ask for compensation if you lose. Okay, keep simping. Isabella commands the crew on the siren's call. She is a remarkable woman, and as you saw, quite formidable. She calls herself a duelist, but you cannot pay me enough to duel her. You should ask Isabella. I do not know how to explain. All right, I obviously was supposed to talk to you before her, but not that that even seems that necessary when I could just talk to her in the first place. I don't think there's anything else I can teach you. Perhaps tell those you meet where you learned what you know. Can I go for seconds? Which I won't. Welcome back. What can I get for you, honey? Come again. I mean, I don't know. If you're going to have that be part of the game, at least make it interesting, make it perhaps plot relevant, make it at least a scene that you remember. Not just like, oh, you, you did it. Congratulations. It will be done. Who are you hiding in here? Can bouncer? Can't even talk to you? A chest? If I open this chest, am I gonna fight you? Nope. Just junk I don't need. Of course. All right, we can go back to the main city. And we can turn in a couple of the side quests. And if I can't go to the camp, which really sucks, then that'll probably be it for now. Oop! I wasn't expecting this. I was hoping I'd find you. I heard about the Pearl. I don't know how, but you got them to leave oh. with no fuss at all. The Pearl's workers will... Nobody gives orders to my men but me. A little lesson in respect is in order. I see. Don't bother sparing these louts. Things are about to get messy. That's hilarious. I... Thought I could talk... I thought I could talk him out of it, but then if you talk him out of it, you just fight them here instead. All right. I'm going to assume my tactics are okay. I don't know. Let's... Got archers over here. These guys are going to come rushing in here. Let's paralyze here. Alright, now let's get the archers. Got him. All right, how's everyone doing? How about a bunch of flame for you? Okay. Anyone particularly? Oh, Kristoff. Let's Winter's Grasp him. I don't know if that. I don't know if that worked. Spoke up a little. A little close. Oh, he he, oh, he. he did it. Okay, good. That's what I wanted to do. He mind blasted. And who's left here? Oh, the guards are helping out. That's good. 
the they're almost dead, but oh, and the sergeant's almost dead. Whoa, Layla, that's fucking this guy up. That is great. Great work. And people actually voluntarily attack you. Are they just stupid? Here's the payment I promised. I might have more work if you're interested. But I'm heading back to the market district. Back alleys are just too dangerous for me. Two gold, okay. It's a decent amount. Now, what is this area? Oh, the back alley. Or a back alley. Doesn't seem like there's anything I can do here. Huh, what's this, though? Ah, nothing. That's disappointing. Yeah, I think Leilana is shaping up to be a lot more useful than she was the way that I had her initially set up. Am I still tr actually? Am I still trying to go back? Is there anything I actually need to do? Oh, that guy. The Antivan Crow. Okay, we'll do that. Rescuer. Sergeant. Oh, okay. That's handing. I think that's handing something in. Good to see you back. Ah, oh, no. He's giving me a new one. I've got complaints in the Nord Noble Tavern that some mercenaries have invaded. Nothing violent has happened. The cell swords are probably just disturbing the nobles' rarefied conversation. Just drum the louts out of there. The barkeep doesn't mind some blood, or sport, as she called it. Captain said, Denrim won't miss a few dead mercenaries. Do what you will, and good luck. All right, so I did... I forgot that he told me not to hurt anybody, which I certainly did, because I literally just told him to go away, and they did. But I wonder what, what would have happened if I, if I had chosen to fight them. I wonder how I would have defeated them without killing them. But it didn't come up because I didn't fight them. I talked to them. Okay, go straight and make a right. Oh, it's right here. Of course. That's fine. He gave me a quest to go here because I'm going here anyway. What are you looking at? We're the Crimson Oars. <laughs> you haven't heard of us. We're mercenaries from all over the world. Pirates, you sound a lot but like pirates. We before the next. This is really, this is really my approach. 
this is going to solve the problem. This dumb line. We happen to like the ale better here. The wine. Good. I'm glad that didn't work. On the floor. So long as we're paying, they're serving. <laughs> Hmm. Let's try it. Ha ha! You may have a point. Bar woman, you and your women are too old and shriveled. Too many damn clothes, right, boys? Ha ha ha! Ors, we go to the docks. Let's find us some winches! I don't think there is when you are the master of talking like I am. This. This is why I think it always works. And I went straight for this because based on pre previous Bioware games, I kind of knew that this was going to be as good as it is. So if I didn't have, if I didn't have any of these skills or if I even had a lower level, it might not always work, but I went, I beelined straight for the highest possible coercion. And I think that's why it always works. Of course, the other reason not to pick it would be if you enjoy fighting. Okay, so that is done. Now I guess I'll save it, even though I... Didn't do anything besides tell them to get a drink. Now, the bad guys must be... Where? Oh, well, this is this guy. A little bird told me one of Logan's friends had an accident. Terribly unfortunate. Yeah. You might want to Does... look in the chest behind me. There might be something of interest. It does kind of suck that there isn't actually a Grey Warden supporters group. It would have been nice if there were. Six gold. Okay, that's a lot. Okay. A band of mercenaries and an ambassador. Well, the mercenaries are probably not too great. I don't know what the ambassador is, but I guess we're killing him. Job clearing those louts Didn't I have didn't I just get a mission? I've got complete... Oh. That's what I just did. Okay. So now go back yet again to the sergeant. Starting to learn where things are. Edwina sends her thanks for getting rid of the Crimson Oars. Mind you, she's disappointed there was no fighting. Here's payment. You've helped out a great deal. Three gold. All right, we got some money now. Sixteen. Ooh, I can afford that tome that was fifteen. Specialization, I should probably do that. I should probably do that.
What happens if I go back to the city map? Oh, I need to dump off another dead body. Oh, I always forget I'm carrying around the dead body. It's easy to forget. I would love to leave this town in camp. I don't know why I can't do that. Okay, I can do that. 12 love letters. Again, if I, I... I have sold a bunch of love letters. If I could get to the camp, I could buy them back. I only have five. I'm not even close. And 15 toxin extract. I don't have any of that whatsoever. Ooh, look at the kitty. Yeah, I did. That was that was hilarious. Because a, char a character told me, I have a secret way to get in here. You have to go through this windmill. You can't go through the gate. And I was like, okay. And I went straight to the gate. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right back where I was. What can I get you, stranger? Wait, you make note of the recognition that I mode? Does that mean I got it or not? I got two gold. Awesome. Hello? What can I get you, stranger? It's a convoluted way to get to this board. Oh, did I miss one the first time? I don't know if that's new or I missed it the first time. Okay, I forget where that tome was. Was it in Wonders of Thetis or was it in Wade's Emporium? 
probably make more sense for it to be in Wonders of Thetis. Let's try that. Save how much money there? 18. Welcome to the wonders of Thedas. We carry items crafted by the circle, as well as a variety of antiquities. And yoink! All right, hell, tell, well, he doesn't sell that stuff anyway. All right, that's that weird warehouse. I guess let me go back to the Chantry. I'm sure I still won't be able to get in. Because despite being at this for a couple hours, I haven't really done much of anything. Yeah, it did side quests. You just keep your head down, that's what. And your wits about you. Um. Can I get through this way? Yeah, I can, right? In the name of Andraste, Bride of the Maker, be welcome in this house. I've heard that. Some... Did okay, you need then. something else? Yeah, never mind. May the light of the Maker guide your steps. The maker does not bread sinners. Oh, I've heard, I've heard this comedy routine many times. Unfortunately. Okay, so now here is the question: Should I be the healer, or should Morgan be the healer? The good thing about Morrigan doing it is that I'm not going to be controlling her, so I can just put it on, um, you know, I can use tactics to tell her when to heal, and that's something that's very easily programmable. You know, when someone gets to a certain, you know, health level, you heal them, and they don't have to worry about her fucking it up. She'll just do it automatically. But it does seem out of character for her, for one thing. What are the other options? Arcane Warrior. Which means you can wear armor. As a mage and blood mage. Is either me and Morrigan going to take Blood Mage when we're not going to...
we're not going to spend on Constitution. I like it from a story perspective because if I became a blood mage, it could be like, oh, the guy who saved the world is the blood mage. Blood mages aren't to be feared. And if Morgan became a blood mage, it seems pretty in character because it's what society hates, so she would want to do it. So I like it from that point of view, but I just don't know if it... And I would like to see it on somebody. But I just don't know if it makes sense, because it would probably mean that I'd have to spend on Constitution, and I don't want to do that. I'll tell you what. I will be Spirit Healer and Arcane Warrior and Morrigan will just be Spirit Healer because I can't see her being an Arcane Warrior. I can't see her wearing armor. And that's what we'll do. So now, what did I just, what did that just accomplish? Group heal. Revival. Oh, all right. So if someone goes down, I can put them back up. Obviously, that's real big. Life ward. Oh, so that's a good protection. I don't know if that's necessarily better than just healing them when they reach that level, but okay. And cleansing aura. So that's like a um, continual heal. That's going to keep going. Okay, okay. I feel good about, I feel good about this. And I assume I still can't go to camp. Can't go there. Could go there, but I don't think I have anything to do. Back alleys. Nah. Oh! Now for some reason I can. Great, great, great. Okay, I'm going to do this. Bunch more, bunch more side missions. Okay, I'm going to do camp and do maintenance stuff. That'll be it. Ah, uh, Mr. Bumpy. Oh, I thought he was asleep. First of all, can I, formidable folk, can I buy back any of my love letters? I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Oh, he's so... Oh, these are different. Those are different. Oh, shit. Look at this thing. It doesn't matter. I'm never going to have that much money. I think he restocks because I don't remember seeing this. That before.
All right, I spent, I spent all, I spent all my money. I can't worry about this. What I was looking for in terms of buying stuff was the love letters, but I think. Yeah, I think they don't, they're not like regular items. They're quote-unquote quest items, even though they're not really, but if you sell them, I don't think you can get them back. Okay. Ooh, a two-handed, a two-handed X. And this thing, which I'm going to have to do so much maintenance, but okay, mace, there's no way, right? Nah, definitely don't want that. Get rid of that. Armor. Again, the thing is, I don't want to mess up people's matching outfits. That's Moringa. Extra fire damage. She doesn't have any fire spell. Oh, she doesn't have 28 strength. Nah, get rid of it. Other boots. Okay, but Morgan has his better. What about Leilana? Ooh, fancy ass boots. Yeah, get rid of those. Scale boots, 22 strength. Nah, nah, nah. Heavy chainmail boots, 26 strength. Nah. I forget if the shield is part of the outfit. I don't think it is, but it sucks anyway, so forget it. Oh! Oh! I think this came from the DLC. This is the thing that I was... This is the outfit I was putting, finding the pieces for and putting together in the DLC. Oh, if I have that, that's great, because I think it's really good. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wow, okay. Guess that's one way to sell your DLC, is you put this incredible fucking thing in it. Yowza, Okay. I mean, now our outfit doesn't match, but it doesn't matter. This thing's real good. I mean, I'll keep this just in case. I've solved my inventory problems. I don't really have to worry about that so much anymore. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy... All right, wow, that's great. Okay. All right, yeah, I don't think I want to buy stuff from him. I think I just want to rearrange things with the people I have. But I definitely want to... Enchantment! Enchantment! Definitely want that. Okay. Oh, you know what? First. Hello? First, let's see Leilana's. She's got 
All oh, right, she needs to go up with the dexterity. We had this conversation. Oh, wait, she has 30? Since when? Did I not look at this earlier? It said she didn't have 30. Eh, whatever she does now. All right. I hmm. Well, the critical damage is really good, but I think overall the one with the extra enchantment and the more arbor penetration. Yeah, I think that one's going to be better. So we will replace the worst crow dagger with the better crow dagger. And now enchantment. 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 Okay. So, everybody take everything off and we're going to start over. And actually, I also need need to figure out what Alistair's using. I think the same thing, because this sword's really good, but let's just make sure. Is this better? Nope, 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 no way at all. And this? Oh, it's two hand. It's good, but not for him. All right. Enchantment? Enchantment! Enchantment! Okay. So. Leilana. On the... What difference does it make? Does it really matter? I don't know. Paralyze. Uh. Fire. Where's electricity? It's here somewhere. Now you know what? Let's put that on the other one. Fire. Electricity. Okay. And I guess we'll also give spell resistance because why not and Alistair you get fire spell resistance and more spell resistance I could use some better runes honestly I mean, this is great in a particular situation, but it's not good otherwise. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy. Runes are expensive, though. That's the problem.
All right. It's fine for now. I'm going to I'm going to save up some money and then I can get some really good ones. Have other inventory stuff to do, but I'll do it later. Let's talk to people. It speaks. It doesn't have better things to do. On then. All right. Seems like he doesn't it have anything speaks. new to say. Its journeys are fascinating. I had thought its chances slim. But perhaps I'm even wrong on that point. Does it wish me to leave? I can, though I see no reason to go. Refreshing. Normally such words would be accompanied by the wave of a control rod. I shall remain as it asks. Perhaps we should continue. Its chances of success are small enough without further dawdling. Uh, if he has nothing to say, it's possible that no one else is going to have anything to say. But on the other hand, he wasn't on any of these adventures. Maybe, maybe that's why. I am hardly surprised. To put it lightly, no one has a place here. Your farmers wish to be merchants. The merchants dream of being nobles, and the nobles become warriors. No one is content to be who they are. Yeah, let's not. He doesn't like it when you question his beliefs. Perhaps. It's strange to be in a crowd and hear a language that is not your own. To see faces that are and aren't like yours. I miss the smells of Saharon. Tea and incense and the sea. Ferelden smells of wet dogs. Don't say that about Mr. Bum Biscuit. Skunks don't mind the smell of other skunks either. Shall we move on? What does that accomplish? The farmer who buys a shop is never a merchant. He is always a farmer turned merchant. He carries his old life with him as a turtle carries its shell. Meant by whom? And if that were indeed his purpose, why did that mysterious source of meaning well, not make him Is he like an atheist? Him? I wouldn't think so. Learning anything takes time and study. How do you study life when you jump from point to point? Life is what you do. Life is the duties you fulfill. Having a very abstract conversation right there. Can it? Perhaps that's the difference between your people and mine. We never forget. Shall we move on? There is... Interesting food here. You have a thing. It doesn't have a word in the Kunari tongue. Little baked things like bread, but sweet and crumbly. For that? Yes. We have no such things in our lands. This should be remedied. There you go. You weren't meant to be a warrior. You were meant to be a chef. Go. Bring cookies to Shall we move on? your homeland. As you wish.
<laughs> and somehow I had, that inspired him to be massively strong. Let's help with you, Alistair. Something on your mind? Of course. Such as they are. Yep. Okay, nothing About with him. the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. Something on your mind? I kind of really thought he was going to want to talk more about his sister. I guess we had that conversation. Now, Zevran should have some stuff to say about um, the crows. By all means. Huh. What say you? Again? I'm game. Well, that's disappointing. I really thought that he was... The entire quest line about his group. I thought he would say something. Something I can help with? Yes? What's on your mind? Why would I kick people out of the group? Even if I don't use them, why, why would I do that? My mother was from Denerim, and I consider myself a Ferelden. Mother served an Orlesian noblewoman who lived here when Orle ruled. When Orle was defeated and the common folk began to resent the presence of any Orlesian, the lady returned to Orle. She took my mother with her. I was born in Orle and did not set foot in Ferelden till much later. Mother was always telling me stories of her homeland. I think she missed it. Okay, so she's like a dual citizen. Um, I'm not sure if we had this conversation. What happened to your mother? What was a dangerous question? died when I was very young. Lady Cecily let me stay with her. I had no one else. She was quite old then, and she had me study music and dance to entertain her. It is unfair that I have more memories of Cecily than my mother. She was an elderly lady, very refined and proper. She had impeccable manners and taste, more so than a lot of Olesian ladies. Cecily was also kind. My mother was unmarried and with child. It was scandalous, and Cecily had every right to turn my mother out. She didn't. Strangely, the only thing I really remember of mother was her scent. She kept dried flowers in her closet amongst her clothes. Small white Ferelden wildflowers with a sweet fragrance. Mother called them Andraste's Grace. They were very rare in Orlais. But enough about that. Let us move on. I think she's talking about a gift that I already gave her. Something I can help with? Yes? What's on your mind? I miss Valroyo. Unlike other cities where the people are the lifeblood and the character, Valroyo. A little more interesting that I save these conversations till after her um, DLC. So you get a complete image of her. From the many windows, quiet refrains and triumphant choruses, and always floating above that all. Although her DLC Coming took place in Ferelden, so it it didn't see her own homeland. If you get the chance, you should see it, at least Val Royaux. Of course, there are good things and bad things about Orle, like anywhere else. Sometimes I miss it dearly, and sometimes I'm glad I'm rid of it. And you will laugh at this, but I miss the fine things I had in Orle. Dresses, fine dresses and furs, and shoes, of course. One can't mingle with nobility with bad shoes, you see. Orle is very fashionable, almost ridiculously so. <gasps> but the shoes, living with those ridiculous trends was worth it for the shoes. Well, there. Their shoes. They're pretty. Some of them, anyway. When I left Orlais, 
The fashion was shoes mm. with delicate tapered heels and embellished. Surprise Morgan puts thought. up with her. A ribbon, perhaps, or embroidery. In soft colors, of course. It was spring. I wouldn't want to run in it or have to enter battle, but for lounging in a lady's sitting room? Perfect. The shoes made in Orlais were exquisite. Not at all like these clunky fur lined leather boots you have in Ferelden. Yeah, just look at them. Yeah. <laughs> I could totally be commiserating with her right now and be like, oh, yes, the shoes, so fabulous. I've had that option repeatedly. I have not taken it. I also have not taken the options that are like, who cares about your dumb shoes? Oh, this is kind of a little flirty. Let's try it. Thank you. It's kind of you to say so, even wearing these mud covered horrors. They're sturdy shoes. But sometimes a girl just wants to have pretty feet. Oh, I could talk about shoes all day, but we have things to do, don't we? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. That could be a problem with Morgan. Something I can help with? Of course, I have zero actual indication that either of these women is interested in me, so... Maybe this is all wishful Girl? thinking. What? What do you mean, go? You want me to leave? I picked the wrong one. I hope she doesn't get mad. Okay, I think that... I think it let me get away with that. That's good, because that would have been horrible. It doesn't stop where I want it to stop. That's a yes? problem. What's on your mind? Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them, I think. Of course, Orlesians enjoy telling stories. I shall tell you my favorite tale of Aveline, the Knight of Ole. <laughs> Actually, never mind. A long time ago, a girl child was born to a farmer. He had hoped for a son, not a daughter, and so he told his wife to abandon the child in the woods. Before the cold could claim her, the baby was found by a tribe of Dalish elves who took pity on the poor mewling thing and raised her as their own. Aveline, for that is what they called her, grew strong and quick and clever under the guidance of the elves. She learned to wield a sword as well as any man, could kill a deer with an arrow at hundred paces and was as graceful on the back of a horse as she was on foot. <laughs> It'd be probably even more rude to cut her off now. Aveline's Dalish guardians saw that she could easily best any Olesian chevalier in battle and wanted to show the cruel humans the child they had left to die. They bestowed upon her a fine horse and armor and sent her to prove herself to her people in the Grand Tourney. Now in those days, no woman was allowed to take up arms, let alone compete in the Grand Tourney. But Aveline kept her helmet on and was not discovered. Aveline won many events and gained the approval of the adoring crowd. Eventually, she came face to face with the knight Kaleva in the Grand Melee. Aveline had already bested him in the joust, and Kaleva was determined not to lose a second time. Out of desperation to regain his honor, Kaleva tripped Aveline and tossed her to the ground, ripping off her helmet as he did so. Silence fell upon the arena as Aveline was revealed. Kaleva declared the previous competitions invalid. A woman had taken part, and this was not allowed. But the crowd cheered for Aveline. Kaleva was furious, for he had lost to a woman and was now being shamed. Blinded by his rage, he forced Aveline to her knees. Uh, rip. Know your place, woman, cried he, and slit her throat. The son of the king, Prince Freyan, was present. He recognized Aveline's skill and bravery and began to see the injustice done to the women in his land. When he was made king, he rewrote the laws of Ole so that women could also become chevalier. 
he honored Aveline and knighted her after her death. And to this day, any female who is knighted reveres Aveline the Brave, for she is the patron of all women chevalier. Well, I guess that's good, kind of. I know one. Talked to me by my mother a long time ago. Oh. It always tell me to. Okay. Burn. Maybe this is interesting. I'm temp. Uh, I'm tempted to play dumb, but let's get some intrigue going. Ah, uh, are you sure? Was she the Flemeth of legend? Flemeth, the devourer of men. Flemeth, yes. mother of witches. Yes, yes. Flemeth, and yes, touched, respectively. In the mists. I mean, I know, my character knows the answers, yes, but okay. Well, if Flemeth really exists, she would be very, very old indeed. Ferelden mothers scare their daughters with talk of Flemeth. They say that if you're bad, Flemeth will spirit you away and bind you to her forever. They also say that Flemeth mourns her lost beauty and will steal yours through your looking glass if she catches you. Flemeth's beauty was known throughout the land. She had hair like unto a moonless night. Skin as pale Why are you as telling me when you should be going over to Morrigan and going, Holy shit, your mother was Flemeth? As the sea. When she came of age, she came to the attention of the Lord of Hyever, Conobar, and he took her for his wife. Conobar soon learned that his young bride had the gift of magic. He kept this a secret, for he feared that she would be taken from him. Flemeth stayed with Conobar for some years, and with his blessing... I forget if this is the same art. story that Morrigan told me. That day, would be useful to know. Oh, I think it is. I, I, I think it is. I think Flemeth it is the same story. Captivated by Osin's voice and he by her beauty, and they fell in love. Flemeth longed to be with her true love, and she and Osin fled from Conobar's lands, seeking refuge in the Kokari wilds with the Chasin tribes. They lived there happily for many a year, till the day Flemeth received news that Conobar was dying and longed to see her face one last time. Flemeth's heart swelled with pity for the man who once was her husband and begged Osen to return to Conobar's side with her. But when Flemeth and Osen entered Hyever, they were captured by Conobar's men and Osen was slain in front of Flemeth's eyes. Flemeth was imprisoned in the highest tower of the castle, there to await Conobar's judgment on her. Distraught at the loss of her love, Flemeth plotted revenge against her husband. She summoned a fey demon, intending for it to wreak vengeance on Conobar. But a spell went awry. The demon possessed Flemeth. Turning her yeah, into an I think abomination, this is the same story. The castle run red with blood so she's an abomination who, by the way, I'm supposed to promise Morgan I would kill. The loss of Flemeth's humanity melted away. And at dawn, she stole back to the wilds to plot and scheme for a hundred years. They say she took to her side yeah. many we chasing get men. Back to the part where this is Morgan's mom. Begat her daughter witches, who even now prowl the dark places of the Kokari wilds. Tell me about Aveline again. I'll, I'll skip through it real fast if she just tells the same story again. A long time ago, she a does. girl child before she learned to wield a sword as well as any man could. Aveline's daily. Now, Sorry, they days, usually don't. They usually no don't do this. Aveline won. A a but the blinded by his rage, he forced Aveline to her knee. The sun went. And to this day, hmm. any female who is knighted reveres hmm. Aveline the it's Brave. Weird. Chantry Law says it is man's I mean, I guess it's good if you miss the story. Song. In ages past, the but they usually don't the let Indian you do that. Ruled much of the world we know, and their pride. They thought their magics invincible and imagined that they were greater than the maker himself. Uh, Jesus, I've heard this goddamn story so many times. City, 
planning to take it for themselves and depose their own creator. But they were impure and full of sin. Again, the game A doesn't know what order you're going to do things in, and B really wants to get these points. So wherever they went, they spread the taint of their sin. There's a lot of if you do everything, there's a lot of repetition. Most people, I think, don't do everything. Don't do every conversation option. Don't do every side mission. So it's not necessarily repetitive for them. Which one? Yeah, let's ask about them. We talked a little bit about them, but we talked about the Aveline. I have heard a little about how the elves gained their freedom from the Tevinter Imperium. When Andraste began her exalted march against the Imperium, the elves joined her cause to fight their masters. The great elven leader, Shatan, born in captivity, rose up to lead his people. Yes, yeah, someone must tell me about this. Who was it? Elves were free. Shatan was killed when Andraste was betrayed, but the elves continued to fight. Maybe it was a priest. Eventually breaking free of the Imperium. The elves claimed the dales in the south and settled there in a the land of their own. The elves lived in the dales for centuries. They resurrected the worship of the elven gods and would allow the building of no chantry. This angered the chantry, and the hostility between the two factions finally broke out in open war. The chantry says the elves struck first, but I do not know whether to believe it. The chantry declared a wholly exalted march against the elves, named for Andraste's similar march against the winter. During the exalted march of the dales, the elven cities were sacked, and the elven state completely dissolved. Some of the elves bitterly accepted their fates and surrendered to human rule, living in the human cities as second-class citizens. But others, still fiercely proud of their heritage, refused to bow to the humans and instead became homeless wanderers. There were the elves of the Dales, the Dalish. Andraste was the maker's chosen, the maker had long since abandoned the world when the sound of her singing turned his ear. She's a bard. She knows a lot of stories. He enraptured him, and he offered to take her from this flawed world to become his divine bride. But Andraste had an earthly husband and would not forsake him. That's, that's a little interesting. So not only is she Jesus and Joan of Arc, she's... People once more. So earnest was her plea. Kind of almost an older pagan idea where God wants Earth, to marry her. All abandoned their false gods and turned once more to him. And this is why Andraste began her exalted march on the idolaters of the Tevinter. And Joan of Arc never the claimed that her God wanted to marry her. That would have been weird. Enemies. Andraste brought the Imperium to its knees, and her victories converted many to the worship of the Maker. Alas, she was burned at the stake. The frailties of men that betrayed and killed Andraste. Oh, along with Her that guy Shartan. Husband, Mafarath, that was a story I heard. The Amari tribes himself grew jealous as his wife's popularity and influence overshadowed his own. She was also revered as the maker's betrothed, and Mafarath began to see their own bond waning in significance as Andraste became ever more devoted to the maker. Out of envy All right, her fact, husband is Mathras the one who made a pact with the Archon his betrayed her. Tevinter, allowing his beloved Andraste to be ambushed and captured. Andraste was burned at the stake in Minrathus, the capital of Tevinter. Ooh. You know what? I've had cover... I, one of the first times I talked to her, we were talking about the dark spot, and I was like, well... If the Maker made everything, didn't the Maker make the dark spawn? And she did not like that. She disapproved. So I don't think she likes... I don't think she'd like number two. Kind of... Hits, you know... She's about fate. She doesn't want me to try to trap her in logic puzzles and be a reply guy. The Tevinda Chantry claims that in Andraste's last moments... Hesarian's heart softened, and he heard the voice of the Maker telling him to end her suffering. He plunged his sword into her heart. 
and as her blood washed over his hands, he became one of the faithful. Dissenters said that the Archon only converted because he could not stem the tide of Andraste's cult, and was forced to do so to stay in power. We will never know for sure. Okay, took. I guess that's it for her. Let me just see something real quick. Oh, I thought this conversation history went all the way back. Which makes sense it doesn't, because that would be a lot. But I thought I could find um, the conversation I had about Shartan, but I guess I can't. What's up with you? Yeah. Yeah. Good boy. All right, that's everybody except for this dude who's hanging out here. The Circle of Magi stands ready to assist, Grey Warden, as do the Templars of the Chantry. So what do you guys want again? There are always areas to improve on, Grey Warden. The most useful for my talents are runes. Oh, they want me to give them runes I'm not using? I can probably afford to do that. And I'll work on it later. Of course, the thing is I keep getting better weapons, and some of those weapons have more rune slots, so... I become able to use more of them. Whoop, almost forgot about Morrigan, who is a weirdo who hangs out over here by herself. I await your command. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> I await your command. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Okay, she didn't have anything. All right, so I think that is it. This is where I would put a rune if I wanted to give it up, right? Yeah. Ah, yeah, there'll, there'll be time. Okay, that's it for now. I'll probably do some even more boring inventory stuff. And in my spare time, and then... We will go back to dinner and we'll knock off these back alley quests. And then at some point we'll get back on the trail of the urn of sacred ashes. But I'll definitely... Well, let's just look just because I'm a little curious now. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. Okay, so we're dead room here. Ooh. I think we have to go all the way over here for the urn. Am I right? I wish when you looked at your quest it didn't take away the world map but it does the urn yeah okay so we are on the complete opposite side of the world from where we need to go so in that case I think I will Indeed. do the, si yes. the side quest Indeed.
Yeah, I'll do these side quests. I'll go... For some reason, it keeps telling me I have to go here, so I'll do that. I'll go here. Side quest with the mercenaries. I forget what this is. I think maybe I can hold off on that. It is right on the way, though. I don't, know. I don't know. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'll do this. It keeps telling me to go here. I don't know why. And I'll do this for sure. And then we'll go to Haven for the urn. After we mop up and denner in the back alleys. That will be the plan. Okay. That is it for now. Thanks very much to everyone for getting back into the main game with me finally finished that hellish fight um in leilana's song and now we are getting back into the groove so thanks to everybody we'll see you soon